A very good morning to you. It's day five here at the Aberdeen Sports Village. We're here for the Scottish National Age Group Championships. We've had four days of fantastic competition. This is the final day, Sunday the 14th of April. We hope that you're enjoying your Sunday morning. It's another nice day here in Aberdeen. And we're going to have, I think, a fun-filled and action-packed day here as the athletes give their all for the last time in these championships. I'm Duncan McKinnell, and I'm joined in the commentary box by Stuart Stevenson. Good morning, Duncan. It's uh, going to be a great day, I think, Stuart. It is. Yeah, another great day ahead. Yeah. So you can see the lineup there coming up today. So 200 medley. We still have phenomenal 400 medley events. Finley Davis was absolutely on fire last night, and he'll be looking, I think, to double up within the medley today. 200 freestyle for the females. There'll be some good races in that one as well. So looking at some of the lineups in these heats, Susie McNair against Phoebe Arbuckle in the final heat. That's going to be a good one. And then in the heat before, Catherine Renfrew and Zara Kravis, both of them have been on great form this week as well. Follow that with 100 freestyle for male and open. Stefan Travis back in the pool. East Lothian will be well represented because they've got Callum Peebles in the previous seat in lane four and Zach Slater in the other circle seated heat. So it'll be interesting to see what the East Lothian boys can do in that one. 200 breaststroke for the females. Seren Talentar from Morpeth has been very, very strong in breaststroke in particular. She'll be going in the final heat in that one. We've got Perry Scobby, who's been great for Sterling. Ellie Kennedy, Zara Kravis again. Uh, uh, sprints this morning, 50 backstroke for male and open. We'll see young Mr. Dean Fern, very close to his 100 butterfly junior record last night. Of course, he broke the 50 fly junior record. His other main event is backstroke, so it'll be very interesting to see what he can do on 50 backstroke. Lucas Brown also has been really strong. Our one Sterling University swimmer competing in the individual events. They are, of course, up to qualifying in relays as well, so good for them to have come up. In the female 50 butterfly, Ailey Robertson, Stella McCarty, who won the 100. Saren Talentar back again. 800 freestyle then completes the individual event. Scott Fleming, who's had a terrific meet, goes in lane five at that one against the open water specialist, Ben McLaughlin of Geary. And we finish off with relays. Four by 100 female re medley relays today. So 14, 16s and following that with the 17 and overs. And then the males also do it. So a lot of relays at the end of the session. So that's going to be fun. Nice way to finish off the session. We're just about ready to go then. We've got nine heats coming up for the 200 medley male and open. There is the lineup for the first of them. They are standing at the blocks and we will be getting underway pretty shortly. It's two minutes to nine at the moment, so scheduled to get this one underway on time at nine o'clock so Stuart what are you looking forward to in that summary that we have there anything yeah, that really floats your boat lots to look forward to I'm really looking forward to the 200 IM I thought the 400s last night were fantastic um, Midlothian double Toby Bullock the 16 year olds Finley Davis and 17 plus both had fantastic swims um, later on uh, girls 100 breast particularly uh, looks, looks like it'll be very tight as well so that'll be a good one for the girls I think um, Perry Scobie Ian McLeod just about exactly the same time there, but see if some other girls can come through as well. So here we go with the first. And we've got a full lineup for this first heat. So the lineup here in heat number one, Logan Warburton of Blackpool Aquatics in zero, Lucas Innes of Foldhouse in one, Rory Keegan Ward of City of Glasgow in two, Clark Malkin Gill of Inverclyde in three, Ewan Murphy of Ithan in four, Harris Woodward of Portobello in five, Ewan Nielsen of Cumbernauld in six, Tom Massey of Afford in seven, Lucas Snowden of Aberdeen in eight, and Johnny McLean of East Lothian in lane nine. Tom Massey, 29.66, that's an excellent start from him. Over a second faster than anybody else in the fly. Of course, things change 
as we go from stroke to stroke. We can see Tom there in the dark cap up towards the top of your screen in lane seven. Others starting to close in on him. Yeah, it was out really fast there, Tom, you know, taking it out uh, very hard from the start. Obviously, maybe he fancies the flies one of his better strokes. But yeah, it's evening up a little bit now, though, uh, towards the halfway point. Yeah, very close now. But Tom still just has the edge, but that over a second lead has shrunk to four hundredths of a second with Ewan Nielsen now right up with him. 109.86, 109.90. And now moving up in lane five is the Portobello swimmer, Harris Woodward. And keep your eye down at the bottom of the screen there. That's Logan Warburton of Blackpool. He's having a good press stroke. So in lane two is Rory Keegan Moore. That's the joy of IM, isn't it? Things move around as length to length. They really do. Um, yeah, the breaststroke's normally the differentiator for the main one, isn't it? Um, they, they see some of the some of the swimmers really coming through strongly. But yeah, that's a cracking uh, leg there by Logan Warburton and Rory Keegan Ward. They've taken the first and second positions now. Yeah, so let's see whether Logan can keep that momentum going into the freestyle. Looks like maybe Rory will give him a challenge down this final length, but certainly Logan, 15-year-old. So all of these swimmers in this first heat are in the 15-year-old age group. And Logan that block as well, Duncan. 232 entry for Logan. So he is going to bring it home narrowly from Rory Keegan Ward. So that's your 1-2, 228, 67. So came into the meet on a 2.32, so a four-second improvement for Logan on his entry time. Great opening heat there. Yeah, nice way to get us started there. It's good when uh, you're in day five and the PB still keep coming. It shows that the swimmers are in very good physical condition that this way through a meet, they can still turn it on. Yeah, some of these swimmers, you, you see the na same names coming up day after day a lot of time, don't you? Especially uh, towards the latter, the latter heats. You see similar names appearing. You wonder how they keep it going, but uh, that's it's good to see. So on to heat two now. And zero, we have James Gillis, City of Glasgow. One, Adam Merrick, Cumbernauld. Two, Aidan McCavish from first. Three, Alexander McNibbon, Warren de Bass. Four, Fergus Reed from Geary. Five, Daniel Henry, City of Glasgow. Six, Edward Mills from Highland Swim Team. 7, Logan McDonald, Bells Hill. 8, Keir Stormouth, Heart of Midlothian. And 9, George Zabiski from Stranraer. And uh, on the near side, it looks as if his, his boys are having a good start here. James Gillis, Adam Merrick, leans 0 and 1. Just a, a half a second over the, the 30 second mark there. Uh, locked together at exactly the same time in the fly. Yep, so, so certainly some strong starts. Lane zero looks to be a bit of a hot lane early on here. Cause James Gill is certainly off to a good start. At lane six pushing on, that is the Highland swimmer Edward Mills. So we'll see what he can do here. He was silver medalist in North District age groups in this pool a month or so ago. And I think he has the lead now, narrowly from Adam Merrick. 107.18, that is two and a half seconds faster than the first heat at the halfway mark. 35.9, uh, look at that, compared with 38s and 37s behind him. So very impressive backstroke there from Edward. Yeah, again, a couple of seconds over the rest of the field there. Looks as if he's, he's doing pretty well here as well on the breaststroke. Starting to even out a little bit. On paper, these boys should all be very close to all 228s and low 229s, so... That would suggest it will even out uh, as the time goes on, but we'll see if that happens. But yeah, coming through now in lane five, Daniel Henry, City of Glasgow swimmer, strong breaststroker, moving up into lead. Yep, so it looks like it will be Daniel at the 150. And it is 154.55. But Keir Stormont there, look at that, 42.3 on his breaststroke length. So keep your eye out on lane eight there, but he's certainly at not sure he's going to get up towards the front. Daniel Hendry looking pretty impressive. He's still up, but being pushed a little bit by Edward Mills, who was leading at halfway. And lane one, Adam Merrick still going well with James Gillis beside him. But it's going to be the City of Glasgow swimmer, 
Daniel Henry taking the touch, 228-24. In the end, four tenths faster than the previous seat, and Daniel just edging inside his entry time by a little bit. Now, it's a 42 point for a, to a 24 point. Yeah, that was a, Daniel was very strong there, wasn't he, from the breaststroke onwards. To bring that one home. Line up for heat number three, Cole Murphy, City of Glasgow. Callum MacArthur, Mulgai and Pesden, James Aberdeen of South Aberdeenshire. Samuel Cool of Step Rock, Tyler Spaulding of Carnegie, Innes Gow of Geary, Jake Ferguson of First, Lewis Maxwell Pauls of Warrender, and two from City of Glasgow, Kyle Mossman and Jude Mowbray. City of Glasgow continuing to lead the team points competition. They had another good night last night, maintaining their lead over Warrender. East Lothian third, South Lanarkshire fourth. Great start here in three. Samuel Kuhl with Step Rock swimmer. So nice to see him just getting under that 30 second mark on the on the fly. So taking this one out very fast. Uh, next yeah. to Samuel there. Tyler Spaulding now coming through it, looking to just uh, nudge up next to him on the backstroke. Right over there as well in lane eight, Cal Mossman. City Glasgow swimmer looking nice on the on this backstroke leg. So it's sometimes quite interesting, and you know, if swimmers use this as a as a way of getting their breath back a little bit in the backstroke, or to keep keep that uh, pressure up from the fly leg. But Kyle, yeah, it's moved into the lead, 107.28. So round about the same time as the previous, just a fraction over the uh, previous heat time at this point. So we'll find out who the breaststroker is in this group right now. There's a number of swimmers pushing on, but nobody really breaking through here. And Although, having said that, Sam Cool, the early leader, is moving back. And so in lane six is Jake Ferguson of first. In lane eight as well, Kyle Mossman of City of Glasgow. So there's, what have we got? Five or six swimmers who could still take this one. So we come up to the 150. The previous heat was a 154 at the 150 mark, and the first heat 152. So let's see how this one works well in between the two, 153.25 with Jake Ferguson there. But I think it's now gonna be down to who's got the fastest freestyle. Presto in this one didn't really change anything too much. And so we've got a good old scramble coming down this last length. Who's your money on Stuart? I think Sam will kill it's well, pretty good in three. Yeah, between the lanes three and six. I think it's lane six coming through Jake Ferguson. I think Jake might just Sneak this one. Oh, he's been challenged by the Geary swimmer in the scout. And the scout takes it right in the touch there. Whoa. He just stretched out towards the finish line. Dead heat actually, 226.43. Oh, so it is. So, it is. so um, yeah. So I wasn't completely wrong by seeing Jake Ferguson because he, <laughs> he, he did win it. He uh, got along it with half right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, nice time there, 226.43. So, a couple of seconds, almost a couple of seconds quicker than the previous heat. Uh, great swim in there. Now on to heat four, lane zero. Aidan Williamson, Highland Swim Team. One, Lewis Lothian from East Lothian. Two, Fraser Cowie, South Ayrshire. Three, Finlay Geddes from Lerwick. Four, Cal McKenzie, Perth City. Five, Luke McCall, Warren de Bass. Six, Daniel Hay, West Lothian. Seven, Johnny Martin, Perth City. Eight, Ruben Pearson, Bells Hill. And nine, Kyle Connolly from City of Glasgow. Should be a fairly interesting one as well. Again, we're not in the seeded heat yet, so all the entry times are very, very similar. The 223 through to 225 mids. So um, yeah, we'll see, uh, see how this one goes. But again, it's these near side. We'll lean two particularly going well at the moment. Fraser Cowie, South Ayrshire swimmer. Actually, Daniel he just pipped in there in lane six. But uh, Daniel he Fraser Cowie, Aidan Williamson. Fairly tight at the front though, Duncan. Yes, it is. You can see there are three swimmers within a couple of tenths of each other. Certainly was a good start from Dan Hay in lane six, the West Lothian. And now pushing on in lane two, Fraser Cowie. And lane four, Callum McKenzie. Perth having a fantastic meet. Sitting fifth in the team competition at the moment, which is great for a relatively small club. And it is Callum who's going to lead at halfway, 106. 
36. That is the fastest halfway split we've seen. Callum McKenzie was second Midland swimmer at North District Age Group Championships, but coming out of the turn, it's looking like it's the time for Daniel Hay to push on back again into the lead. Yeah, Daniel Hay's a really strong breaststroker, but Cal McKenzie's a cracking freestyle swimmer, so um, he's also he's already picked up a couple of golds this week in the freestyle events, so if he can keep in touch, he's still with a chance here, but yeah, it's a really good breaststroke here by Daniel Hay. So, yeah, the West Logan swimmer out in front on the final wall. Johnny Martin as well, he's got a really good breaststroke leg. Yeah, but he's uh, medalled in breaststroke, a couple of silver medals, and certainly that 38.9 was by far the fastest breaststroke split there. He goes in lane seven there in the red cap, but it looks like when well, you talked about lane three, Finley Geddes, the Lerwick swimmer, and he is really pushing on in lane three. So it's him, I think, against Daniel Hay now, and I think Dan might just hold on to take it. Ooh, very close. No, Finley got it. Well, it looked closer than three tenths, I must admit, and must it's have been about the touch there. Yeah, um, that was a really tight, tight finish there. Very difficult to call that one. Uh, but yeah, sometimes they it. drift in, don't they? Sometimes they <laughs> really power towards that finish, and it just depends on how quickly they get to that wall. Nice third place from Lewis Lothian. He's had a good steady meet, and that's another PB for him. Play heat number five now. Lachlan Small, who's been impressive this week. He goes for Sterling in zero. Adam Thompson for South Ayrshire in lane one. Connor Christophorus of Aberdeen Dolphin in two. Sam Ross of Warrender in three. Marcus Blake, Cynthia Glasgow in four. Lachlan Bremner of Highland in five. Jasper Harrison met just missed a medal in the butterfly yesterday goes for the borders in six Conan Swinney of Gateshead and Wickham in seven Finley Bennett of South Lanarkshire in eight and Fraser Dow of Perth City in lane nine Adam Thompson in lane one I think is going to lead them into the wall at the 50 28 91 so that's our first sub 29 yeah it was the quickest we've seen so far on the fly leg and Adam yeah, out, out really quickly there, and uh, he's a good multi-discipline swimmer, Adam, so we'll see how this one progresses. He's looking quite nice on this backstroke as well. Coming through on in lane five, Lachlan Bremner, Highland Swim Team swimmer. He's maybe just about taking, uh, holding second spot just now. So nice controlled backstroke from these leading swimmers so into the breaststroke. It's Thompson, Ross, Small, the one, two, three. You'd expect Lachlan Small maybe to push on at the bottom of your screen in the breaststroke. He is the 15-year-old. There's uh, a few 15-year-olds in the seat. Starting to see the 16s and 17s coming into the picture. Yeah, Lachlan took the gold in the 50 breast um, earlier in the week, so you'd expect him to be strong in this leg. But Adam Thompson is... Uh, I think if anything, he's stretching out a little bit further here, and he's uh, really taking this race on. It's great to see. So Adam is going to touch the the wall first here, going into the freestyle, and he has a good freestyle swimming as well. But there are a few other boys in, in the pool who are also strong freestyle swimmers. But yeah, great turn from Adam, and it looks as if he's now got a clear lead at the front. Yes, very often you do see that momentum that's been built up in the breaststroke transfers into the freestyle, and it gets very tough for the swimmers to then track down the one who's leading at the 150, and certainly that's the case here. Adam Thompson taking that momentum and bringing it very nicely into the wall. 2.19.18, that's a two and a half second improvement on his entry time. You have to be happy with that on day five of a major meet. Lachlan Sports, cracking swim from him again from the outside lane, 2.21.39. And Lackey Bremner taking third in a pretty tight contest there with Sam Ross. Just a couple of tenths ahead of him. Yeah, great to see Adam doing well there uh, from uh, my home club, South Ayrshire. So, well done, Adam. So, on to heat number six here. Zero, Rudy Webster from Fries. One, Harry Keough, running into six. Two, Connor Aspinall. East Lothian, 
3 Luke Jansen, Ron De Bass, 4 Taylor Sinclair from Elgin, 5 Ethan Stewart, South Lanarkshire, 6 Kieran Lennox, University of Aberdeen Performance, 6 Luke Garrity from Inverclyde, um, sorry, 7 Luke Garrity from Inverclyde, 8 Tom Armitage, Highland Swim Team, 9 Logan Jackson, University of Aberdeen Performance. So, 115 year old in this one, Connor Aspinall, and the rest are 17 18. No surprise to see Kieran Lennox out very strongly, of course, Butterfly Specialist. A bit surprising that he's in not one in one of the circle seated heats. So an experienced swimmer, Kieran, 27.51. That's much faster in the fly that we've seen. But we'll see whether his other strokes live up to his very strong fly. He certainly looks to be in fair control here. He's a member of the Scottish Junior team, and that is on the back of his fly. I don't have any form for him for 200 IM, so my guess is that his entry time perhaps a rather old 220 possibly a conversion from short course so he's had a pretty decent backstroke there he's still holding a good lead from lane five that is ethan stewart of south lanarkshire and logan jackson in third but 101.52 let's see how he gets on in breaststroke yeah really really strong there from from kieran as you see he's uh He's been on the podium, collecting medals three times this week, a couple of goals in the silver and the fly events, so he's, he knew that was his strength. But yeah, he's looking very good here in the breaststroke as well. He's way out in front now. Logan Jackson going nicely up at the top of your screen, the University of Aberdeen swimmer. So it's University of Aberdeen one and two at the moment. As we see there, the two of them with that U of A on proudly on their caps. Yeah. Harry Keogh had a very strong breaststroke leg there. And he's coming through into third place. Uh, but yeah, Rudy Webster, if you see his split there, 38.77. So he really gained on the rest of the field in the breaststroke leg. So he's down at the bottom of the screen, done free swimmer. He's got a bit of a contest, I think, for second place, because coming up at him is Harry Keogh. And in lane four, Taylor Sinclair of Elgin. And still at the top of the screen, Tom Armitage, Logan Jackson. No doubt he's going to take this, though. That fly was the platform for Kieran but strong into the wall there 216 18 that's way inside his entry time we'll see whether that gets him into the final I think it might well do yeah I think that yeah I think he'll be safely in with that we'll just keep an eye on and other swimmers there um in the times but yeah three, three heats to go CD heats so we'll see see how these times come in. And that is the first of them up on your screen there. Heat number seven. Line up Ian Gozinski, Monifeith, William Shepherd of Perth City, Jacob Light of Moore, Perth Jack Mitchell from University of Aberdeen Performance, Logan van der Merlen of Sterling Swimming, Kanish Chakraborty of Hamilton Aquatics, Max Pelosi of City of Glasgow, Ewan Weir of Perth City, in seven, Corey Phillip, Dundee City Aquatics in eight, and Ben Kelly, Warren de Bass in lane nine. A chance to give a warm welcome to anybody listening from Dubai. It would be great to have you here. Uh, Kanish has certainly put in some very good swims for your team, but it's Liam Gorzinski, the early leader, 28-10. Logan van der Merlen of Sterling in second, so these two but Kanish is also now moving up in the orange cap in lane five. So Korzynski in zero at the bottom of your screen. And then the two in the center, Van der Merlen and Chakraborty. And a nice shot of the two of them side by side there. The white of Sterling and the orange of Hamilton Aquatics. Yeah, Chakraborty or Kanish, Chakraborty is 16 year old. Logan Van der Merlen is 17. So different uh, age categories but they're, it's good that they've given each other a contest here and looking at this um, this pacing they should they should safely make it into the final later so you'll see it's quite interesting to see Duncan sometimes if they hold something back towards the finish of the heats or if they just keep it going and try and try and go full out yeah it's good in these age group events that in the heats they get to swim against perhaps people that they don't swim against every day because they're in a different age group and this gives them another challenge particularly if they're pitting themselves against an older swimmer and then of course they go against their peers in the final later on so yeah, two different experiences really heats and finals but it's van der merlin who leads 144 30 that is six tenths faster than kieran lennox's split at the 150 
But when you can see there, four swimmers in the shot there and others not too far away, but it's going to be Logan van der Merlen, I think. Kanish is not gonna catch him. Going very nicely up in lane eight is Corey Phillip. That will be your one, two, three. Brought in by Logan van der Merlen, 2.15.58 for him. So that is the fastest we've seen, half a second faster than Kieran Lennox's split. Yeah, Corey Phillip had a really good breaststroke there to get him, get him up there into third place. But yeah, Corey, 16 as well, along with Kanish. So we'll see both these boys in the final later on. Um, just to re-echo that point about the 216-18 we saw from Kieran Lennox, that was equal second in that um, heat. So it does certainly look good that Kieran will progress from the uncircle seeded heats, if that's a word, mm. uh, into the final. Stuff. So now on to heat number eight and zero, Ethan Collins, Bells Hill. One, Dylan Mitchell, Wanda Bass. Two, Gregor Ross, City of Glasgow. It's colleague, Royce Kringelis in three. Four, Stefan Kravich from East Lothian. Five, Thomas Trainer, South Lanarkshire. Six, Leighton Burr, University of Aberdeen Performance. Seven, Aidan Bruce. Aberdeen, eight, Lewis Gibson from South Ayrshire, and nine, Cameron Hastings, University of Aberdeen Performance. So Stefan Kravis leading the way, silver medalist in the 400 I am last night, 27.19. So that is the fastest fly split we've seen now, a bit faster than Kieran Lennox was a couple of heats ago. And he's certainly well clear of the rest of the field now. He's been doing some of his um, less frequent events this week was down in London last week on his major events freestyle and fly so 200 I am certainly is one that is in his playbook uh, he's what two three meters up now on Thomas trainer Thomas probably best known as a distance freestyle up yeah, on paper Stefan's about six seconds quicker uh, than the rest of the field here so should comfortably win this um, but yeah I did spot through the events this week that he has been doing some of these ones, um, probably picking out some ones he might not necessarily do it on other occasions. But yeah, busy busy calendar, of uh, busy schedule of the different meets, especially with British last week. Yeah, the two Glasgow boys coming up well now in lanes two and three, Gregor Ross and Royce Kringelis. You can see there, they are right up there with Stefan now. So it has been quite a big change in the breaststroke. And it's Royce now who has moved into the lead 143.78. My guess is that Stefan will come back in the freestyle, but yes, look, it looks like he is, but it's not going to be a big win here, but it'll be about, I think, getting the job done is, I think, how you would describe it. Thomas Trainer still very much up there, and behind that front four, it's Lewis Gibson in lane eight. But there you see Stefan, he's built that lead back up to over body length as he comes in and takes it fastest so far. 214.81. Yeah, as you say, Duncan, I think that sums up just doing enough to get there, but it's, it's great when you have a, a lovely freestyle like that, but you can almost relax and still stay ahead of the field. So, yeah, it was nice to see as well. But yeah, the other boys were really um, up, up there in the mix, like three or four of them. Yeah, just a hundredth in it there, second and third. We should get the result coming through. It's just a little bit of delay in them uh, declaring the result official, but now you've got it there. Yeah, so, Royus and Thomas. Just a hundredth apart with Lewis Gibson in fourth place, just ahead of Gregor Ross. And they'll all have to wait and see whether their times are good enough for places in the final. This is the lineup for the final heat of this 200 IM. We have Edward Bell of Seagulls from Christchurch on the south coast of England. Kyle Mitchell of Geary in lane one. Jack Doherty Simpson of City of Glasgow in lane two. Three is Kenzie McLean of Perth City. Finley Davis of Midlothian in four. Connor Mitchell of Warrender in five. Fraser Tetlow of Geary in six. Toby Bullock of Midlothian in seven. Finley Bruce of Perth City in eight. And Carl Connolly, South Lanarkshire in lane nine. Now watch out for the two Midlothian boys, both winners in the 400 IM last night. Finley in particular was very impressive. That was a big win for him in the 17, 18 age group. Yeah, they were both great swimmers. They really stuck in my mind uh, from the last evening coming away from, from the meet. Both of these boys, uh, Toby Bullock came from behind and had a storm and breaststroke and then came through strongly in the end. And then Finlay, yeah, kind of uh, dominated that one. Uh, 
from early on in the in the race. So yeah, it's good to see both these green caps. But yeah, I'm sure they they spur each other on as well at club level. Yeah, it's all fairly close here at the moment. There's uh, about what, five or six swimmers coming in just about together. So let's see who gets the touch. It's Jack Doherty Simpson in lane two, 103.79. Not as fast as Stefan Kravis's split from the previous heat, but they might get that back in the breaststroke. Edward Bell go very nicely in lane zero, as I said, from Seagulls. In Christchurch, he is a member of the Scottish Youth Academy, has been for a while. And there's three other swimmers in the hunt as well. Lane two is Jack Doherty Simpson. Lane six is Fraser Tetlow. And up in lane nine, Kai Connolly. But in the breaststroke, Finlay Davis is taking control here. So he turns first. Fraser Tetlow second, Connor Mitchell third, 142.50. That now is the fastest 150 split. So again, it's looking like Finley pretty relaxed here coming down this last length. Again, he will feel he's done the job. We'll see whether he can get inside Stefan Kravis's 214.81. Working much harder in lane six is Fraser Tetlow. He was the bronze medalist in the 400 IM, and the two of them are going to come in just about together. In fact, Fraser just nudging it. 216.57 against 217.21. I don't know that we should read too much into that because Finley, I think, was really co or coasting is probably the wrong word, but easing his way down that final 50. Well, in fact, his time has been adjusted, and he did get the touch by 600s. Knew it was close there. Top 16 year olds there as well. Uh, so with Kenzie McLean, Toby Bullock, just uh, came in very tight together at the finish, but there they'll go through to the 16 year old final. So we'll look forward to some good racing later on. But yeah, Duncan, I think you're right. You know, they weren't giving it absolutely everything to some of the, the top boys there. Yeah, so interesting there that. Um, we will find out shortly who are in the finals. Of course, you can follow all the results on Meet Mobile or on Swim Scotland on the web. And that will keep you up to date with who's made the final and who hasn't. Next event, 200 freestyle. Again, we've got nine heats here. They line up on the screen for you. Ava Service of Dumfries in zero, Imogen Barrett of Ren 96 in one, Annabella Scatterty of Aberdeen Dolphin in two, Sophia Fallone of Monifeith in three, Isla Dobson, City of Glasgow in four, Amy Russo of Renfrew Bass in five, Emily Jackson of Newcastle in six, Lacey Padfield of Redditch in seven, Isla Crawford of Beckenham in eight, and Chloe Semple, South Lanarkshire in lane nine, so nice to have three up from south of the border in this one. All Scots, Newcastle, Redditch, and Beckenham. Yeah, good start on the near side here. They have a service. When she touches first, lane zero, 31.67. Amy Russo, not too far behind over in lane five. Yeah, there's quite a few. Um, Swimmers up from from down south. Would you say the majority are Scottish swimmers, Duncan? Yeah. Themselves. Yeah. So of course that will also have give them the opportunity if they can be fast enough to come back up here in July and swim in the Scottish summer meet. You know, of course have to declare if they're south of the border that they want to swim, and are eligible to swim in Scotland rather than in England. And it's always a delight to have them here. It creates an extra dimension for the home base Scots from against somebody that they're not familiar with. Two hundreds then between Amy and Ava. 107.92, 107.94. Others pretty close as well. Emily Jackson in lane six. Lacey Padfield in lane seven. Two of those Anglo Scots that we were talking about. But down at the bottom of your screen there, Ava's service continued to go very nicely indeed. Some frees putting, showing some really strong freestylers, particularly on the distance side. We're thinking of the likes of Amber Hinton and Georgia Dickey. And Ava Service certainly doing her stuff for the team here. 145.38 for her. Yeah, and this pacing looks like she'll be underneath that, that entry. Uh, 222.10. 
so we'll see how she goes down the final straight. But yeah, still pretty close coming through in lane four now as well. Isla Dobson is coming into the mix. Yeah, so there's a good competitive first heat here. As we said, 221s and 222s. The edge time's here, so let's see if can they get under the 220. I don't think that's going to yes. happen. And it's a strong finish, though, from lane four. Isla Dobson just strong down that last length. See 34-9 there. Sophia Falone also finishing strongly. Which has to settle for third in the end as Isla Dobson takes it in 2.21.86. Yeah, I think a lot of these entries are short course conversions, so it's always tough to, to match it with the long course times. But yeah, some good swimming there. So on to heat number two in Zero Isle Club. Ailsa Club, I should say, from Aberdeen Dolphin. One, Leona Bedra and Cuz. Two, Eilid Petri, Moni Feith. Three, Kayleigh Moulton from Red 96. Four, Lisa McNair, Sterling Swim. Five, Emily McDougall, Highland Swim Team. Six, Emma Miller from Kintyre. Seven, Jasmine Robertson, Aberdeen. Eight, Carrie Preacher from Lerwick. And nine, Abigail Crawford from City of Glasgow. So times here ranging uh, across the 220s into low 21s. Uh, so it should be very close if we go by the entries. And it is looking close at the moment. Yes, exactly a second between the fastest entry time and the slowest entry time in this heat. So really anybody could get this one. And that is justified there. The 32s and 33s at the 50. A little bit slower than the first heat early on, but well, there's different ways to swim a 200 freestyle. So we may well see these swimmers grow into this one. Kaylee Moulton of around 96 has the early advantage. She goes in the 16-year-old age group, and she's now about a metre, um, well, maybe not quite a metre up. Starting to close her down now, Lisa McNair of Sterling Swimming, and also Emily McDougall pretty close. So that's the top three at halfway, 10693, and they're now a second faster than the first eight. So winding it up nicely now led by Kaylee still in lane three. She's holding that advantage pretty well down this third length, but expect Lisa McNair perhaps to, certainly is there, ready to pounce if she can in the final length, and not that far back, Emily McDougall. So we'll see whether, as they come up to the 150, whether Kaylee can hold on to this. So far she is, 142.97, you can see all 36-0 for her, 36-1 for Lisa, so similar pacing. Yeah, it's a good little battle going on there in lane three and four, and uh, interesting to see who's more of the finish. And yeah, at the moment still, still Kayleigh Moulton, just about half a body length up on Lisa McNair. But yeah, really strong swimming, these girls, they kind of separated out from the halfway mark on, really, in these lanes between them and the girls behind. But yeah, strong swim here. Kayleigh. 220.5 is our entry and she's going to come underneath that time quite quite comfortably 218.15 for Kayleigh Moulton Lisa McNair also uh, bettering her entry time at 219.19 and similar for Emily McDougall 219.73 and third so some good swimming there yeah that was a nice stuff from Kayleigh there because she was, must have been very conscious of Lisa McNair beside her and uh, wasn't phased by it at all and just held that advantage all the way through to the end and nice PB. Nice PB for Lisa as well, getting under the 220 for the first time. On to heat number three. The lineup in this one, Hannah Lindsay, South Lanarkshire in zero, Anna Campbell in lane one, Kaylin Chan in lane two, three is Riley McIntosh, Dundee Set Aquatics, East Lothian swimmer, Anna Lawson in four, Couple of empty lanes in this one. One of them is lane five. Six is Elena Sanderson of Perth. Another empty lane in seven. And then we have Poppy Shore from the borders and Heidi Carr from Newcastle completing the field. So one of the features I think of this week is that there've been very few empty lanes. Uh, generally speaking, the swimmers are stuck to the course and been able to be fit enough throughout the meet to swim the events that they plan to swim. So it's been good to see. Yeah, I can count in one hand, I think, the number of times I've seen empty lanes. It's just, uh, yep, quite unusual, but um, usually quite a good reason if it if happens at Scottish Nationals, because they, uh, they tend not to do that. But, um, yeah, there's a pink cap here, Dundee City Aquatics. So it's really Macintosh, but also going well out there in lane eight, Poppy Shot. 
So that seems to be one two coming through strongly as well. And zero, Hannah Lindsay, South Lanarkshire. So interesting to see how this goes in the third length. But your halfway point, 106.54. So is that, I think that's slightly quicker, Duncan, isn't it, than the previous one? So we're going in good pacing here. And yeah, sometimes this third line is quite interesting. Almost, uh, my daughter used to call it moving. Moving length, a bit like the golf, you know, third day's moving day. But, uh, <laughs> third line sometimes is when the swimmers put their foot in the gas just to try and move that up that pool. And put you their stamp have on Georgia it. on your mind at the moment. <laughs> yeah, possibly. <laughs> Yeah. So lane eight, Poppy Shaw, the border swimmer, having a good third leg. So she has made her move. Talking about moving day, 142.05, nine tenths faster than the previous meet. The borders have had a quietly effective meet here. They're obviously not the biggest team in the nation, but there have been a lot of PBs coming out of the borders. And certainly Poppy Shaw, who's based in Eyemouth, is looking to get inside her 2.99. She's still under pressure from the Dundee City Aquatic Swimmer, Riley McIntosh there in the pink cap, closer to the camera. So who's going to get the touch between these two? I think it might be Poppy up the top of your screen. It's pretty close as they come in, but Poppy does take it, 2.18.30. And that is another Borders PB by a second and a half. So I think Poppy and their coaching team will be pretty happy with that. Just three tenths back, Riley McIntosh. So she's right on her edge time at 2.18.61. And Anna Campbell taking third in 2.20.63. Yeah, that was a nice uh, nice swim there by Poppy. She just kind of went in front about halfway and held on there. Right to finish. So now on to number four. And zero, Charlotte Chadwick from Kinross. One, Sophie Seal from South Ayrshire. And then we have four City of Glasgow swimmers across lanes two to five. Ayla Cochran, Thea Glenn, Emily Dickens and Ella Cunningham. Lane six, Naomi Wilson from Wanda Bass. Seven, Caitlin Urquhart, Highland Swim Team. Eight, Erin Curry from Ithan. And nine, Lucy Hunter from South Lanarkshire. Again, extremely close on entry for this one across the 217s, nudging into the low 218s uh, with the slow swimmer. Lucy Hunter is one to watch here. She's been very strong this week. Bronze medalist in the distance freestyle events in the 15-year-old age group. And she does lead 31-10 at the 50 mark. She was fourth in the West District Championships. Went one better at the West District Pre-Stags meet. The meet that they hold to just tone up their times in preparation for this event. Up there as well. We talked about that Glasgow contingent. Stewart and they're starting to make a move in the centre lanes. Emily Dickens in four and Ella Cunningham in lane five. And it's Ella who will lead them into the second half. 105 50. Yeah, second fast in the previous seat. Ella, the youngest as well. She's a 15 year old. The rest are in the 17 18 category. So she's uh, vying against these older girls trying to show them how it's, how it's done here. So pretty interesting amongst the Glasgow swimmers. But yeah, Lucy Hunter still going well out there. Uh, in lane nine, she's also 15, so Lucy and Ella are competing against each other for a place in the final. Yeah, but Lucy Hunter also took uh, a medal in the, the 400 free, so she's good at the distance and and the, the shorter or the sort of middle distance freestyles as well, so we see she can scale that down to the 200. But yeah, it's a good battle going on in the middle lanes now. Coming through in four, Emily Dickens. Uh, she's now challenging for top spot here. Yeah, so it does look like it's going to be the two Glasgow swimmers maybe just ahead of Lucy Hunter, although Lucy will keep pushing away from lane nine as, as hard as she can. But it's Emily in four, Ella in five, who's going to get the touch between them. It looks like it's advantage Emily now, the 17-year-old, perhaps just using experience. Lucy, though. Oh, Lucy got it. Wow. Yeah, she just pushed herself forward just towards the flags and the finish there. She found an extra gear. So yep. a great, great finish there from Lucy. Very fast down that last few meters there. So we said that she's having a good meet. She certainly showed it there. She was entered on 218.10. So that's a nice improvement. Again, we're just waiting for confirmation of the result, though. Yep. So let's just see. Sometimes you get that some slightly uh, delayed touch on the pads if they touch softly, and then they compare that with the backup time and also with the manual time from the stopwatches. But 
Well, I think that is confirmation, certainly in the top three of what we saw. So Lucy Hunter, Emily Dickens, Ella Cunningham, your one, two, three. So we go to heat number five. The lineup here, Gina Wren, City of Glasgow, Irene Ferris of Cumbernauld, Jessica Kirkwood, University of Aberdeen Performance, Zoe Crawford of First, Madison Cool going for University of Aberdeen. Five is Lexi Lamont of Aberdeen, Kira Pemble of The Borders in six, Amel McLeod, Perth City in seven, Maya Cheshire of Elgin eight, Sophie Allison from Western Bartonshire in lane nine. Two sixteens across the board here, two sixteen ten up to two sixteen and nine zero. Yeah, there's nothing in it these early stages. Could, uh, no one standing out above the rest, really off the block, so it, we'll see how this progresses. It's uh, looking very even. Possibly this pink cap again, uh, this time with Cumbernauld from Aaron Ferris. She might touch the ball first here. Oh, she does. So 30.94, very close to so Maya Cheshire, 30.98. So Cumbernauld, yeah, they've got pink caps now. Duncan, I've noticed, and we used to just look at the pink caps with Dundee, now we've got Cumbernauld, uh, also pink. Yeah. Slightly more lurid pink from coming on. Yeah, they've yep. moved from yellow to pink. But look at this, very, very close. There was just hundreds between the top four at the 50, and it's going to be pretty similar, I think, at the 100. Let's see who's starting to emerge. Lexi Lamont, maybe, in lane five, but lane nine. We've seen a lot of good swims from lane nine this morning. 105.52, it's Sophie Allison that does lead the way. The Western Bartonshire swim out. Winner at West District short course. Coming out of the turn though, it does look like Lexi Lamont is building up ahead of steam. Based in Aberdeen, silver medalist here in North District age groups. And I think she's got the lead now. These two just got a little bit over the rest of the field. It's still very close bar one swim up. So let's see, I think it will be Lexi at the 150 from Sophie Allison. Yeah, Lexi, 15 year old. Um from Aberdeen, so she's she's going strongly. Looks like um, on this current pacing that she'll should be safely into that final, and she's really stamping her authority in this now. Lexi, she's a two sixteen ten entry, so keep her on the clock here. But this, this is a very good swim. It's pretty close behind her. There's two or three girls that could take second spot still, but it's still going well out in lane eight. Um, Sophie Allison. So impressive stuff there from Lexi, 2.15.48. So she takes the win, that's over half a second inside her entry time. Second was Sophie Allison, she held on to it from the outside lane. And Kira Pemble, another good swim from the borders, 2.19.71 for Kira. Yeah, that was a good swim there. And uh, now on to heat six. And zero, Eve Wood from Orkney. One, Lucy Hall, East Lothian. Two, Ava Ross, City of Glasgow. Our teammate, Olivia Caldwell. And three, four, Alice Perry from Wonder Baths. Five, Gemma Brown, Carnegie. Six, Alex Coy from Wonder Baths. Seven, Molly Irvin Watson, Dumfries. Eight, Katie Rose, Wonder Baths. And nine, Natalie Moody from West Lothian. So crack and start over in lane eight from Katie Rose. She was really quick off the blocks and also on the near side, Eve Wood. And these look like the early leaders here. But yeah, the entries here across the 2.14s and 2.15s. But yeah, it's going really well here. Uh, the Orkney swimmer up to the first wall. So Eve Wood, 29.99, so sub 30, the first one we've seen. And Lucy Hall in second at the moment, Ava Ross in third, so we'll see how this progresses, but yeah, really good turn as well there in lane six from Alex Coy. So this is shaping up to, to be a fairly tight one, but yeah, going really well at the moment, Eve Wood, Orkney Swimmer. Yep, Orkney having a cracking meet, and Eve Wood certainly part of their success. And coming up to the turn, it's still pretty close, but who gets the touch? Well, it's Alice Perry, in fact. 105.05, just touching ahead of Eve by 700. So Alex Coy right in the mix as well, and Lucy Hall in fourth. So it's a good contest here. Lucy Hall there in the black cap in lane one, and certainly 
starting to make a bit of a move against yeah. the Red Caps of Orkney and Warrender. Others not that far away as well. So this is one of the tighter races we've seen. Is it going to be Lucy? She's certainly having a really good third 50 here. I think she's going to turn in the lead. She does, 140.6, only by four hundredths though. A little bit faster than the previous heats. Alex Coy just four hundredths behind her. Alice Perry right there. Katie Rose, so three Warrender swimmers, second, third, and fourth. And I think they are now gunning for Lucy Hall in particular now in lane six. That is Alex Coy, who looks the favorite to bring this one home in what is a good contest here. Her teammate, Alice Perry, has other ideas about it, though. It's going to be between the two of them as they come to the touch. Who gets it? Alex does. 2.15.31 against 2.15.48 for Alice Perry. And Molly Irvin Watson there with a very strong final 50. Well, no, in fact, Lucy Hall, that must have been an adjusted time coming up there for the Slothian swimmer. 2.16.58 for her. So she takes third. Yeah, the older swimmer there, Alex Coyne, the 17, 18 category. So she just nips it over her, her colleague in the 16, uh, Alice Perry. So um, we should see then more quite later. We'll see how the, the last final two heats go. So in heat seven, the first of the circle seeded heats, we have Caitlin Frame in zero for first. Ariana Stokes of Morpeth in one, Empty Lane in two, Georgia Dickey of Dumfries in three, Mary Maschenko of University of Aberdeen in four, Mia McLeod of West Lothian in five, Tegan Black of East Lothian in six, Louise Connell of City of Glasgow in seven, Heidi Wren, City of Glasgow in eight, Kate Nolan of East Lothian in nine. Mary Maschenko, a Ukrainian based in Aberdeen, has been a very solid performer, as has Ariana Stokes, who leads the way at the 50. Another sub-30 split for the first 50, a tenth faster than the previous heat. So it's these two in the centre lanes, Mia McLeod as well. Tegan Black, who's had a very successful week, particularly in individual medley, is pushing on strongly, but she's a good distance freestyler as well. So they're the top three at the halfway mark, led by Mary Maschenko, 102.42. So as you might expect, going into the circle seated heats, this is faster than we've seen. And Mary, a couple of tenths ahead of Mia, but Mia right there with her now in the blue of West Lothian. Then it's Tegan Black and Ariana Stokes these four well clear of the others, but I think it's going to be a battle between the centre lane, Stuart. Yeah, Mia Mishenko is about three seconds quicker uh, on paper over Mia McLeod, but it's looking a lot closer than that at the moment. As they go to the final turn, yeah, turning together. So Mia McLeod just nick, nicks ahead, but we'll see what what Mary's got. Uh, we'll go down the final straight. Ariana Stokes has come into the frame as well in lane one. So um, she's, uh, she's still in the mix, the uh, Morpeth swimmer. So all these girls in the in one, two, three at the moment in the 17, 18 category, and uh, coming through also in lane six is uh, Tegan Black. She's she's still in there for third place, but a great finish there. In lane five, Mia McLeod. She just nudges ahead of Mary Mashenko, 2:08:48. Yeah, that's a nice time from Mia. Second inside her entry time. It's as we saw in that 200 IM earlier from the male and open swimmers, and some of them sort of taking it fairly easy. That certainly wasn't the case there for Mia. She pushed that pretty hard there, particularly down in the latter stages. Mary perhaps not quite so much. We'll see both of them, I'm sure, again in the final this evening, our final set of finals. Yeah, Mary was maybe just easing off towards the finish there, um, leaving something for later, but... Yeah, that should be that should be a, a great final later on, assuming these girls uh, make it there. So, heat number eight, lane zero, Maria Howe, University of Aberdeen Performance. One, Ella Pullman from Glenrothes. Two, Georgina Hawkins, Fault House Penguins. Three, Rosie Forster, Wanda Bass. Four, Catherine Renfrew from Perth City. Five, Zara Kravish from Eve Clothing. Six, Ashley Drake from Wanda Bass. Seven, Emmy Aitken, University of Aberdeen Performance. Eight, Karis Mooney, City of Glasgow, and nine, Molly Weir from West Lothian. So, going to be tight on this one, I think. Catherine Renfrew, Zara Kravich, these middle lanes again. I've only got a second between them on entry. 
So it's actually Ella Pullman in the near side in lane one. Uh, first of the wall, Glenn Roth is swimmer. So it's really tight though between her and Rosie Foster, then Catherine Renfrew, Sarah Kravich. But um, yeah, it's lanes three and four, I think, at the moment. Uh, we've got one and two, so Rosie Foster, Catherine Renfrew. Yeah, Sarah Kravitz has done quite a lot of eating herself through into finals. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen her in the central lanes in the finals, even in the ones that she's won. So uh, it's a bit of a history of uh, just doing what's required in the morning. But Catherine Renfrew still looking for her first gold medal. She's got a stack of silvers, 103.32. She'd love to get on the top of the podium today. And she is about by, what, half a meter on Rosie Forster in lane three. So red caps at the front because in lane six, we also have Ashley Drake, second war under swimmer. And in lane one, it's Ella Pullman. Yeah, it's a really strong field. You know, some of these girls are, you know, they're picking up golds and silvers across the freestyle events. And uh, yeah, Catherine Renfrew, 17 year old. Is the one that turns first, Rosie Foster, also in the same category, just behind Ashley Drake as well. So that's uh, a really fascinating contest in this heat. Uh, Sarah Kravish is uh, a younger swimmer, 15 year old from East Lothian. So, yes, it's going to be Catherine's race now. She is certainly the one who is bringing it home by far the strongest Scottish schools champion champion here in the north district and she comes in 210 43 so it's not as fast as mia mcleod in the previous seat but um, she'll be comfortably in the final with that rosie forster second ashley drake in third those three all in the 17 18 age group one more heat to go in this one heat number nine just waiting for confirmation of that last result though so we'll pause for that, and there you have it. This is the one, two, three, as we said. There's no swimmer there, Georgina Hawkins. Not present for that one. So on to heat number nine. The lineup here is complete, and we have Safrina Mitch in City of Glasgow in zero, Natalie Marshall of West Lothian in one, Evie Mackey of South Lanarkshire in lane two, Orla McInnes of Hearts in three, Susie McNair of Stunning Swim in four, Phoebe Arbuckle of Warrender in five, her teammate Kiana Kurtzer in lane six, Coco Croxford of South Lanarkshire in seven, Stella McCarty of City Glasgow in eight, and Emma Creaney of Cumbernauld in lane nine. So Susie McNair has been very strong this week. Another swimmer who's sort of back to back from London to Aberdeen. Phoebe Arbuckle beside her was in that position as well. Kiana Kurtzer has swum really well. Another swimmer who's been so close to getting goals, but not quite there. Been national champion quite a few times behind a non-Scot. But it's Evie Mackey by three hundreds. Evie very strong on the distance events. So 200 probably towards the bottom of her range. Also going well now in lane two. That is Evie in the center lanes. Susie McNair just looks so relaxed every time she's in the pool. 400 IM specialist. Phoebe Arbuckle, another distance freestyle specialist right beside us. So these three all turning together just ahead of Kiana Kurtzer. 10402. Yeah, this is a fascinating battle between Evie Mackey, Phoebe Arbuckle, Susie McNair. Um, yeah. Evie Mackey is used to getting her all on her way in her 15 year old category. She uh, she's feels like she's never been off the podium collecting medals this week. She's uh, a very good distance freestyle, but what a, what a turn there and move forward there in lane five by Phoebe Arbuckle. I mean she's well she's good at most things, but especially the distance events. But this is a cracker so far. Um, 135.98. So she's opened up a three second lead there. That's a surprise over that third length. Yeah, it's interesting because she was uh, over a second and a half back on heat seven at the 100, but now she was faster than them, so really turning it on the second half. And that clearly was the strategy for her to how she was going to swim this heat swim, so take it out fairly gently and then push on hard in the second half. Uh, well, it would be all for her about planning her career for the rest of the season. 208.45, only one of the very strongest 
distance freestyles in her age group in the UK. Yeah, that was a cracking swim there. It was, uh, it was great to watch. But yeah, as I called, you know, the third, third 50 there, Duncan, moving, the moving line. So uh, <laughs> Phoebe heard me. Yep. But yeah, she's uh, she she's looked very comfortable there. But yeah, um, I think the top, I think at least the top four or five are safely into the, the finals later on. So we look forward to some great racing later. So we're now on to the the 100 meter freestyle for the boys. We've got it's the 15 uh, to 18 category starting off um, with heat one, and it's we've got nine heats in this one. So lots of good racing coming up in the 100 free. So uh, Wayne Zero, Thomas Robertson from Kern Estate, one Ewan Nielsen from Cumbernauld, two Calm Struzik, Bells Hill, three uh, Cole Murphy from City of Glasgow, four Kai Fern, Aberdeen Dolphin, five Carrick Thompson, Inverclyde, six Theo Stenneker, South Ayrshire, seven Elliot Stevens from Fault House, eight Callum Forsyth, South Ayrshire, and nine Ty Tyler Coots from Shetland. So boys just getting ready now onto the blocks. A slight pause there before they started between these events. This is a really close one in paper. When you look across the board, it's all one minute uh, entry time. So we'll see if any of these boys can break the minute. They're also all 15 year olds. So it's uh, going to be so tight here if it goes by the entries. Yeah, I think that's going to be the target for all these guys that want to start there time with a five and this one it's very very close lane four perhaps just edging it Kai Fern of Aberdeen Dolphin and he goes through 28.52 oh no in fact it's Callum Struzik in the touch 28.52 from Ewan Nielsen and then Kai Fern all 28.5s and in our lane two it is Callum Struzik who led coming out of the turn there pushing on now hard is Theo Sterica in lane six, so uh, they are one and two coming down the pool here. You can see there in an unfamiliar red cap for Aberdeen Dolphin, Kai Fern. Is he going to get the touch so Theo. close? Oh, Ka Callum, Callum Strusick. Wow, yeah. got that touch in the end. But that was a cracking uh, second line for Callum and Theo Steriker. He came right through. Oh, three sub minutes there, Duncan. Yeah, three under the 59, under the minute there, so they'll be happy about that. The other guys will have to say next time, next time it will be me. Yeah, that's a big psychological barrier to break, break of the minute for the first time, so well, well done to these boys. So line up for heat number two, Stroom Payton, University of Aberdeen Performance in zero, Finley Hiddleston, Little Friesen one. Then we've got Miller Cunningham in two for Glenn Rothers, Matthew Piatek. University of Aberdeen, Max Turnbull of Midlothian, Tyler Spaulding of Carnegie, Aaron Russell of Bells Hill, Atana Sarinkov of Broch, Fraser van der Merden of Sterling Swimming, and Alexander McNiven for Warrender. Strong start in lane two. That's the Glen Rother swimmer, Miller Cunningham. So he, I think, is going to take them through the 50. So we were 28-5 in the first heat, 28-2 in this one, Atanas is second Tyler Spaulding is third at the turn but still very much Miller in lane two the Glen Rothes swimmer finalist in East Districts where he did his 59 23 entry time but he's coming under a bit of pressure now lane five Tyler Spaulding is certainly in the mix another Pfeiffer and also lane one pushing on Finley Hiddleston he's had some good swims this week and it is Finley very strong in the second half there takes the win in 58.86. So Finley into 59.71, and that was a recent time from him, so nearly a second knocked off that. So good stuff from the Dumfries boy. Yeah, great back end there from Finley. He'll be delighted with that one. And we move on to heat three now. Lane zero, Harris Woodward from Portobello. One, Fraser Cowie, South Ayrshire. Two, Jed Armitage, Highland Swim Team. Three, Lewis Lothian from East Lothian. Four, Connor Christophorus, Aberdeen Dolphin. Five, Daniel Boyne, West Lothian. Six, Alfie Price from Orkney. Seven, Hamish Maxwell from South Ayrshire. Eight, Declan Kay, East Lothian. And nine, Kyle Harper from South Ayrshire. So, again, really tight on paper here. Low 58s to sort of mid um, 57. I think it's the slowest time here, so it's going to be very, very tight. Good start in lanes across the middle lanes here, especially lane four. So, 
Conor Christophorus looks if he's just, oh he's not actually, Declan K over in lane 8. Uh, just Fox is there with that camera angle. So 27-26, that's the quickest by over a second so far. I'll be Price in second, Conor Christophorus. So we'll see who's got more down this final stretch, but still going really strongly over in lane 8. As he's he's loading swimmer, Declan K. And two inside him in six, Ewan Weir, Perth City, um, sorry, that's the wrong, that's the wrong name. Sorry, Alfie, <laughs> Alfie, Alfie Price, Price or it is, yeah. Uh, Alf so Alfie Price, it is. Sorry, comes through to take that one. That was a really strong finish from Alfie. Yeah, a couple of goals in the fifties for Alfie, and showing that he could take it down the second length as well. With there, so Ontney having a cracking meet. Eve Wood, we saw earlier, and there's Alfie. Both of them have been top of the podium this week. So line up now, heat number four, Adam Prusik, Aberdeen Dolphin in lane zero. Lane one is Alex Taylor of East Lothian, Ewan Watson of Renfrew Bath in two, Ishmael Shalabi, East Lothian in three, Callum McKenzie of Perth City in four, Henry Shuley of Barnes of Aberdeen Dolphin in five, six is Ewan Weir of Perth City, Freddie Walker of Cheltenham in seven, Lewis Maxwell Pauls of Warrender in eight, and Sam Cool of Step Rock in lane nine. 57s to low 58s the entry times here and uh, looks like who's going to get the touch here it's tight between 0 3 and 5 at 27 to 3 Adam Prusik just getting the touch pretty much the same split as the previous heat Adam Prusik looking to keep this one going he was the finest in the Scottish summer meet last year can he make it into the final here in national age groups going well in lane 3 is Ishmael Shalabi in Lanes five and six, it's close. Henry Shuley of Barnes and Ewan Weir. Is it going to be Ishmael? Yes, it is. 56 75. So that's a nice second half again. We've seen some strong second half swims there, and certainly that was the case for Ishmael. He was a second inside his entry time, which was only done in March at the Commonwealth Pool. So that's good progress from Ishmael to take heat number four. First uh, swim in the 56s, so that's a really good swim there from Ishmael. And a fairly tight finish as well across the pool with three or four of the swimmers. So heat five, lane zero, Ruben Pearson from Bell Sill. One, Lewis Gibson, South Ayrshire. Two, Cal MacArthur, Mackay Bears Den. Three, Reese Edwards from Dumfries. Four, Adam Curry, South Ayrshire. Five, Gregor Skinner from First. Six, Calm Stewart, Highland Swim Team. Seven, Aaron Drake, Warren the Bass. Eight, Alex Tinch from Stilling Swim. Nine, Lachlan Bremer, Highland Swim Team. Um, and 56 lows, quickest here. Adam Curry through to 57.46. So again, yeah, pretty tight on paper. Looks like a good start in lane two. Cal MacArthur possibly to touch in first here. Yep, 27.12. So just a fraction quicker than in the previous seat from Callum. Lewis Gibson hot in the tail there. Aaron Drake in third. So we'll see how this pans out. But yeah, really good turn there um, in four. Adam Curry, and uh, he's looking quite very strong here coming towards the finish. Still going well in one, Lewis Gibson to the two South Ayrshire teammates at one and two. We'll see who's going to get the touch here. And it is Adam Curry, 56.07 over Lewis Gibson, 56.53. And in third place, it was Reese Edwards, 56.73. So that's the quickest we've seen, 56.07. Both the South Ayrshire boys getting inside their edge time, so. Yeah. Rejoicing down on the Asia coast. They will be. Yeah, these boys will be delighted with that. As will Coach Byron. Heat number six, Tom Jeffers are in 96 in zero. Benji Jeffries, South Asia in one. Connor Mitchell of Warrender in two. Taylor Hutton of Incas in lane three. Four is Fergus Woodward of Portobello. Five, Dylan Mitchell of Warrender. Lachlan Smorgas for Sterling Swimming in six. Samuel Whitehorn of Midlothian in seven, Torin Liversedge of South Aberdeenshire in eight, and Archie Smith of Aberdeen Dolphin in lane nine. Entry times here, we're ducking into the 55s narrowly, 55.9's the fastest. And Tom Jeffords, 26.84, that is a bit faster than we've seen. 800s behind him, Benji Jeffries and Samuel Whitehorn, another 700s back, so another very close affair. Going very nicely is Tom and Benji down at the bottom of your screen, challenging with Fergus Woodward in lane four. 
Well, this could go a number of ways as it come down to the wall. Is it going to be lane zero, Tom Sheffords? I think it is. Ooh. He's had a cracking meet. Look at that, 55.58. So we are moving rapidly down the times here into the 55s now from two of them, Tom and Benji, both on the other outside lanes there. Another South Ayrshire PB. Yeah, great to see Benji getting into the, the 55s there. Um, for the first time, he'll be over the moon with that as well. But a great swim from Tom Jeffers, a really tight finish as well. That was a fantastic heat. And now to heat seven, lane zero, Rory Stobie from Wanda Bass. One, Ross Anderton from East Lothian. Two, David Smith from Glenrothes. Three, James Boddy from Geary. Four, Zach Slater, East Lothian. Five, Dean Fern, Aberdeen Dolphin. Six, Logan van der Mullen, Sterling Swim. Seven, Cedar Gullen from Wanda Bass. Eight, Leighton Burr. University of Aberdeen performance. Nine, Royce Congelis from City of Glasgow. And look at that start from Dean Fern. And he's uh, stamped his authority in this 24.85. This is the first of the circumceded heats, so you would expect these boys to go out really fast in the centre lanes, and Dean Fern is not holding back here. Dean Fern never holds back. Not one of his signature events, Hunter Freestyle, but you wouldn't know that from what we're seeing in the pool here. Zach Slater pushing him hard, but he's not going to catch Dean. So the 16-year-old bringing this one in in a 52-12. That was pretty impressive there. He was, came into this meet on a 53-2, so over a second inside his entry time there. Another cracking swim from Dean. He never disappoints, gives it his all every time. Zach Slater also under the 53, 52.93 for him. And that was pretty close to his entry time. Uh, Dean certainly is a rising star. Um, Scottish swimming. And yeah, he's not managed to get a, a medal on the, in the freestyle events yet, so this could be a possibility for him. I think it's probably the first freestyle event he's swum in. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> that's why he's not medaled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that could have something to do with that. Yeah. So heat number eight, James Kilpatrick, Carnegie in zero, Callum Sinclair of West Lothian in one, Edward Bell of Seagulls in two, Harry Sharp for Warrender in three, Callum Peebles of East Lothian in four, Magnus Morris, Ren 96 in five, Jensen Norris of First City in six, Ben Kelly of Warrender in seven, Alex Black of First in eight, and Manu Trysdale of Warrender in lane nine. So Harry Sharp is a speed merchant from Warrender, and he turns 25-61 leading the way from Callum Peebles, but Callum in the black cap is just on his shoulder. They are in different age groups, 16-year-old Harry Sharp, 17-18's Callum Peebles in his last national age groups. And it's going to be the younger swimmer who will lead it in. Harry working himself pretty hard there to take it in 52.77, and that again is an improvement on his entry time by six tenths. So Nice stuff from Harry there. Callum Peebles, I think probably more relaxed there, 53.55. <laughs> It'd be nice to be able to go 53.55 relaxed. Unfortunately, yep. we had a DQ in that one as well, and that was Jensen Norris in lane six. A technical infraction from him. One heat to go. Yeah, so Harry Sharp safely into the final. We'll see if he's in one of his middle lanes at the moment. He's the, the top 16-year-old. So now into heat nine and zero, Edward Brown from Onwick, one Corey Phillip from Dundee City Aquatics, two Kieran Lennox, University of Aberdeen Performance, three Finley Sang City of Glasgow, four Stefan Kravich from East Lothian, five Lucas Brown, Stirling University, six Scott Fleming, South Lanarkshire, seven Cameron Hastings, University of Aberdeen Performance, is eight Max Pelosi, City of Glasgow, nine Robbie Boyd, Wanda Bass, and this is very tight. Stephen Kravish just his nose in front there off the wall. Lane four, 25-32. Not quite as quick as the previous couple of heats, but um, he's just stretching away a little bit off that wall, but also going well next to him in lane five. Uh, it's Lucas Brown, still in university swimmer. So that's going to be a fascinating contest to the finish here, but these boys both just doing enough here. And coming right through in six, just in the finish there, Scott Fleming, a uh, nice swim for him. So 53.25 is the winning time there. Stefan Kravish, Lucas Brown for 53.47, Scott Fleming for 53.89. So it looks like all these boys just a wee bit outside their entries, but safely into the finals. 
Yeah, I think we'll see both of those two guys, Stefan and Lucas, going faster than that when we see them back again tonight. They'll not be in the center lanes, so we'll just, uh, we'll be in the finals though. We'll see how they get on when they get there. So just checking out who will be in the center lanes in that 17, 18 age group. And I think it's gonna be Zach Slater. Well, Stefan, I think will be in lane five, so confirm that because you can get all the results from Meet Mobile and Swim Scotland. So we move on to 100 breaststroke now. This is the first of nine heats for the females. Alice Jones, South Ayrshire in two. Natalie McGregor of Perth City in three. Caitlin Reed of Warrender in four. Lisa McNair of Sterling Swimming in five. Chloe Semple of South Lanarkshire in six. And Emma Burrell for Midlothian in lane seven. Entry times here, 125s and 126s. Yeah, all 15-year-olds, this one Duncan, so this, uh, they're all challenging for a place in the same final. And very, very close on paper. So we'll see how this, this pans out. Possibly just with their nose in front uh, in lane five, Lisa McNair. But it's pretty tight here. Yeah, 40.07, so just over the 40 seconds at the turn. Yeah, four tenths ahead of Emma Burrell in lane seven but i think maybe just starting to pull away a bit from emma and in between those two we've got chloe semple moving up and also the perth swimmer natalie mcgregor in lane three but it's very much looking like the white cap lisa mcnair is going to bring this one home she is pulling away now in the second half here she was bronze medalist in short course west districts before christmas and using her strong technique here to bring this one in. Entry time 125.3, and she's inside that, 123.97. So a good strong swim from Lisa to take the first heat. Natalie McGregor second, Emma Burrell in third. Yeah, nice, nice PB there uh, from Lisa. As we move on to heat two. And we have nine swimmers in heat two, then zero. Manon Shembri from Perth City, one Emily Chong, City of Glasgow, two Isla, Iona Connolly from Midlothian, three Beth Craig from Aberdeen, four Olivia Russell from Bernald, five Abigail Thomas, Highland Swim Team, six Ellen White from Stirling Swim, seven Hannah Lindsay from South Lanarkshire, eight Ada Broden from Red 96, and nine Lucy Hall from East Lothian. So all in the 124s, these girls on entry. And a good start in lane three from Beth Craig, uh, Aberdeen swimmer. So we've got a mixture of 15 and 16 year olds here. Olivia Russell, Abigail Thomas, Ellen White and Lucy Hall. All 15 and the rest are 16. Yes, so 124 is across the board. And then we'll see whether they can get down below that because we saw that 123.9 from Lisa Manair in the previous heat. So let's see how they go. Ada Brodin, 39.41, so that is faster than the previous seat by around six tenths. Beth Creek right there with her 39.49 in lane three. So seeing a lot of races here, Stuart, where they've been spread across the pool, the front runners. That must make it slightly difficult for them just to assess where they are. Pushing on now, Emily Chong in lane one for City of Glasgow. She's having a really good second half. Up there, Beth Creek still, the Aberdeen swimmer in lane three, and still Ada Broden, the halfway leader in lane eight. So these three, I think, let's see as they come in. I think it's gonna be between lanes one and three, and I think maybe the Aberdeen swimmer just getting the touch. She does, Beth Creek, 123.72. So two swimmers getting under the 124 inside their entry times. Yeah, nice, nice improvements there. And. Uh, Looking across these entries, a lot of them are sort of rounded numbers, so it looks as if they're short course conversion time. So, um, going from the short course to breast stroke to long course is always quite tough uh, to, to come beneath your time. So, good to see some of these girls improving on them. So, there is the confirmed result Beth Creek, Emily Chong, Ada Brodin, the one, two, three. So, that's the lineup for heat number three. We have one empty lane, it looks like. That's lane six. So empty lane, Maya McCallum of Highland. 
Helen Chan of Ren 96, her teammate Cara White, Victoria Weir of First, then we have Rebecca Strachan, City of Glasgow, Anna Lawson of East Lothian, the empty lane in six, Ellen Denny of Geary in seven, eight is Millie Colvin of Dumfries, and Joanna Calder completes the lineup for Margai and Bears Den up there in lane nine. Yeah. Sorry, Duncan. Um, just can say it was a great start by Millie Colvin and Dumfries over an eight there um, off the blocks, but coming through well in three now. Victoria Weir uh, looks like she's going to lead the way into the first wall. Yeah, Victoria Weir, thirty-eight seven one. That's seven tenths faster than the previous heat, and she leads by three tenths over. Maya McCallum, another strong swim from the outside lane coming in here from Maya in lane two as well. We've got Cara White of Ren 96 and she's pushing on well, as is Millie Colvin up in lane eight. And starting to make a move in four is Rebecca Strachan of City of Glasgow. So we've got a quartet now of swimmers, lanes two, three, four and eight all will fancy their chances. Let's see who can bring it through. Looks like it's gonna be lane two, Cara White. Excellent second half from her. Seen quite a lot of that one, 23-5-3. There, somebody is in the pack at halfway and then pushes on through strongly in the second half to take the win. And that was certainly the case with Cara there. Yeah, she's a really good turn, Cara. And good to see some of these girls from Wren um, pushing through to the front as well. Uh, having a good week, the Ren 96 swim team. Up in the top 10 at the moment of the, the club points. I think just outside it. Oh, are they? I or are they nudged yes. until 11th now? Okay. 11, just outside yeah. the top 10, yeah. I should really keep up with these scores each morning, Duncan. But <laughs> <laughs> well, it is pretty tight there, isn't it? You know, it is, yeah. Oh, having a good meet, I would certainly agree with that. Yeah. So we now move on to Heat 4. And in zero, Anastasia Enoch from University of Aberdeen Performance. One, Jensen, Jesse Norris, I should say, from Best. Two, Eden Fraser from University of Aberdeen Performance. Three, Neve Quinn, Kintyre. Four, Amelia Leslie from Stockport Metro. Uh, five, Ellen McPhee, Faultouse Penguins. Six, Caitlin Frame from First. Seven, Taylor Smith from St. Thomas. Eight, Ellie McNichol, Glenn Rothis. And nine, Victoria Grabowska from Western Bartonshire. Entries here across the 121s. So we'll see if this one um, goes like some of the other ones and just when they hit the turn, they suddenly start spreading out. And it's a great swim so far in lane one by Jesse Norris, the best swimmer. And also going well in five, Ellen McPhee from Faultouse Penguins. So Ellen, um, the Faultouse swimmer, 17, 18 carry uh, category. And yeah, so let's see who's going to get this one. It's yeah. going to be really tight between them. Jesse certainly was out like a bullet first on, but I think it might be Ellen. It's just going to nick it from her at the death. Is it going to be Ellen McPhee in name five? Yes, yes it, it is. is. 120, 68 for her, but great swim from Jesse as well. 120, 97 with Eden Fraser third. And that gives me a great opportunity to have a shout out to Fold House coach Tom Seavright. He's 60 today. I hope he doesn't oh. mind me saying so, but happy birthday to Tom. There was a little celebration on the poolside earlier. Uncle Tom Seawright, 60 today. He looks like he's not a day over 70. <laughs> <laughs> you see the nicest things, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, happy birthday, Tom. Um, I'm sure there's no way he'd rather celebrate than be at the snags, you know, on the Sunday. That is probably true of Tom, actually. Oh, really? <laughs> You can have a proper celebration later, I'm sure. Um, so we're on to heat number five. It is indeed. Kate Gillies of Renfrew Bars in zero. Kirsty Breek and Aberdeen Dolphin in one. Katie Lowe of Glen Roth is in two. Ella Wood of Forfer in three. Natalie Cooper of Warrender in four. Millie Barton of Belsill in five. Elizabeth Morgan of Highland in six. Lexi Lamont of Aberdeen in seven. Josie Grimes Warrender in eight and Kimberly Willis of Ren 96 in lane nine. Another strong start from lane zero. Katie Gillis 37-35, pretty much the same split as the previous heat. Katie 
Uh, Renfrew swimmer did her time at the East Girl Bride Pool at Scottish Schools, where she was sick. And she is being pushed in lane six by Highlander Elizabeth Morgan. Uh, let's see who gets the touch from them. They probably won't be very aware of each other as we come down the pool. Others not far behind, lanes two, three, and four. And also pushing on strongly is Lexi Lamont of Aberdeen in lane seven. They've been really specialists in strong second halves, the Aberdeen crew. And there's another example of it. Lexi Lamont coming through to snatch that one at the death from the Highlander. 120.62 for Lexi, three tenths inside her entry time. Elizabeth takes second, and the halfway leader, Katie Gillies, in third. Yeah, do you think that's a, a coaching uh, method there, for bringing the breaststrokers through, you know, getting oh. the stronger as the race goes on in Aberdeen? Maybe very experienced coach, Alison Lowe, at the Aberdeen Club, so uh, she knows exactly how to bring on these swimmers. Yeah, it's great to see. And we're now on to heat number six and zero, Rebecca Shan from Aberdeen Dolphin. One, Sarah Wood from Ithan. Two, Ava Kirkham from First. Three, Lenny Bedborough from Incas. Four, Sydney Boyd, McLodian. Five, Alicia Goodbrand from Ithan. Six, Emma Binney from Inverclyde. Seven, Abby Mitchell, Elgin. Eight, from Payne, Best. And nine, Macy Carty from Fault House Penguins. And uh, we have a time range in 118, 75 to 120, 64. A uh, range of ages here, Lona Bedbury and Abby Mitchell, both 15. The rest are uh, 16 or, or 16 and above, 16 or 17, 18. Touching first there, lane four, Sydney Boyd. So, 16 year old from Midlothian. Yeah, good turn in lane two from Ava Kirkham of first. So she is now challenging Sydney Boyd down this second length and also pushing on in lane five is the Ithan swimmer Alyssa Goodbrand and beside her Emma Binney of Inverclyde so this one could go a number of ways Sydney Boyd has had a narrow lead all the way through and at uh, the moment she's hanging on to it it's in the green cap of Midlothian I think she is going to take this one just pushing on strongly now at the death and does take the win in 121 dead it's very tight for second place there. Um, a few hundreds, really. Uh, about half a second between second and fifth. But it's in the boys, 121-0. Abby Mitchell, 121-44. And um, I didn't catch that third Duncan, but uh, the screen disappeared. But so heat number yeah. seven is Iona Kasapidis of Carnegie and zero. Tia Aitken goes in lane one. University of Aberdeen, then two from Warren, Dorady Stewart and Zara Smith, Perry Scobby of Sterling Swimming in four, May Rogers of Warren in five, Susie McNair of Sterling Swimming in six, Izzy Monarch of Port Morpeth in seven, Jessica Kirkwood of University of Aberdeen in eight, and Amy Owenson from Best in lane nine. So pushing on very strongly early is Perry Scobby. She has had such a good meet and having such a good season really Scottish schools champion perhaps one of the highlights and a strong positioning in the Edinburgh National in the junior final as well so she takes this out and this is a different league from what we've seen so far 34-8-1 Zara Smith is a breaststroke specialist she's a second back in second and another Warren a breaststroke queen is May Rogers in lane five but uh, Perry Scobby with quite an emphatic lead here. And I can't see anybody getting close to her down the remainder of this race. Sara Smith continuing to push hard. They both are 17, so both will go in the 17-18 final, assuming that they make it. I'm sure they will. Perry certainly will. So her entry time, 113, and right on that mark, 113.85. So really strong swim again from Perry Scobby. Certainly consistency is the word for Perry. Zara Smith in a second, May Rogers in third. Yeah, Perry's, uh, she's always been a strong breaststroker, but this year she seems to have really dropped at times and uh, put herself right at the front of that age category. So it's great to see um, you know, such an improvement from, from Perry. Uh, and encouraging for other swimmers as well. Um, so as we go on to now 
heat number eight to the second of our seeded heats. So it is Ella Cunningham in zero, City of Glasgow, and one Emily Jackson, Newcastle swim team. Two, Ailey McNair, Milgai Bears Den. Three, Charlotte Thompson, Mid Lothian. Four, Ellie Kennedy, City of Glasgow. Five, Zara Kravitz from East Lothian. Six, Katie Coventry from Morpeth. Seven, Alana Wilson, Bells Hill. Eight, Maya Cheshire from Elgin. And nine, Alice Cumming, City of Glasgow. So, favourite for this, Ellie Kennedy, 112.90, but it's pretty tight between her and Zara Kravitz on entry. And we'll see how this one goes. It's very close across the pool at the moment. Katie Coventry just nicking. Uh, 50 metre mark first, 35 81. Not quite as fast as the previous heat, maybe a second, second behind that. But uh, looking really tight here, and we we'll have a little battle going on uh, across the pool. But Lowen Lane 6 going really well here as uh, Katie Coventry, more for swimmer. And it looks like she's stretching out, Duncan, maybe a bit of body length ahead now. Yep, Katie, the older Coventry sister, was a winner here in the Scottish Summer Meet last summer, and looking like she's going to be a winner on this heat from lane four, Ellie Kennedy, and lane three, Charlotte Thompson, the winner in the 200 breaststroke a couple of nights ago. 1.15.79 then is the time for Katie. So good swim from her, close to her entry time, just a few tenths away. Second place, Ellie Kennedy, and third, Charlotte Thompson, both in the 1.17, so pretty clear cut that one. So one more heat to go of a female 100 breaststroke. And there's your lineup for it. Eva Robertson of Highland in zero. Lauren Anderson of West Lothian in one. Tegan Black of East Lothian in two. Amy Robertson of South Ayrshire in three. Saren Tallentire has been really strong in the breaststroke. Goes for Morpeth in four. Amy McLeod, City of Glasgow in five. Ella George of Step Rock in six. Leah Bullock of South Lanarkshire in seven, Isla Gilmurray at Dundee City Aquatics in eight, and Ava Ross from City of Glasgow in lane nine. So I think the eyes will be on Saren Talentire on this one. She is the British age group champion in this event. She also came up and won it last year. She's won both the other breaststrokes already this week, and you wouldn't put money against her winning the 16-year-old one here. She's got plenty of company at the moment, though, at the turn, 35-35. She leads by 18 hundredths. That's not the fastest halfway split. That was Perry Scobby a couple of heats ago. Let's see how she goes in the second half, because it is very much just about qualifying here, and she's going to do that comfortably. I think Amy Robertson going in the 17-18 age group is in second place with just behind them in lanes five and six, Amy McLeod and Ella McGeorge. But Seren just doing enough, I think, to hold the advantage here. Although pushing her now is Ella McGeorge in lane six. If she's maybe trying to, a chance to try and nick it, but not quite. Seren takes it 115.74, and I think we will see faster than that from her tonight. Ella McGeorge, a good, strong attacking swim there from Ella, the Stamp Rock swimmer from St. Andrews. Because 115.97 for her to get ahead of Ailey Robertson, who takes third in 116.12. Yeah, looked like a, a two horse race there between Seren and Ailey, and uh, Ella just came in, coming through really strongly in the sort of final quarter of that race. So, next we move on to the 50 backstroke for the boys, and there's a uh, a few heats in this one, nine of them. Uh, the first one's got three swimmers in it. So we'll come on to that in a moment. And the boys are just lining up and getting themselves sorted out at the other side of the pool in their 50s and yes. coming towards the, the commentary box side, and as you'll see on the screen. So yes. um, change of ends, of course. Yesterday, of course, we had to uh, move all the events yeah. to that end briefly because of a problem with one of the blocks at the scoreboard end because our technical team were very pretty quick in being able to hot change the configuration of the pool mm. to the other way around and uh, then during the break they were able to fix the problem we were back to normal in the afternoon so well done to our technical team yesterday hopefully we won't have any problems like that today and we'll be able to get our 50s off strongly here any moment now so this 50 backstroke should be Pretty interesting, I think. We will see some very solid and strong single length 
swims in this one. Later on, we'll see Dean Firm back again. Stefan Kravis as well. Lucas Brown as well. So yes. that's still to come. This is the first heat with the trio of swimmers going. And they are Lewis Hopkins from University of Aberdeen, Lucas Snowden of Aberdeen, and Jonathan McLean of East Lothian. He's in the black cap. Two white caps from here, Aberdeen teams. Two separate teams, of course. So let's see, 32-4 and 32-5s, the three entry times. So this is going to be nip and tuck, I would think. Good start from Lewis Hopkins in lane three. He's given himself the edge. Let's see if they can come back at him. The other two, very, very close indeed. But it is Lewis Hopkins, I think, is dominating this one early on now. So with 10 meters to go, now oh, here comes Jonathan McLean, and in fact it's going to be the East Lothian swimmer. Good on the second half there and takes it 31-6. So full second pretty much inside his entry time. So you can't ask for more than that in this early heat. So Johnny McLean will be happy, I think, with his performance there. Let's just see confirmation of that result though. It's just taking a little while to bring it up. Yeah, I wonder if it's a board. There we uh, are. Issue, yeah, we've got that again. So, yeah, he just found an extra burst of speed towards the finish line there, didn't he, yeah. Jonathan? Well, all three inside their entry time, so nice yeah. start to this 50 back string. Yeah, it was uh, good to get us going. With three swimmers, now we've got a pool of nine swimmers. So, in zero, Arthur Templeton, one, Eric Stephen, and with no swimmer actually swimming in lane two. Three, Nathan Smith, four, Aaron Russell, five, Tom Massey, six, Finlay Hiddleston, seven, Cole Murphy, and eight, Matthew Piatek. As they start off, an all-important start in the backstroke, Duncan, it's really crucial, isn't it, Even in the 50s especially. Getting a good start. Um, looks really close between lanes five and six at the moment. So Tom Massey, Finlay Hiddleston, neck and neck, possibly. Um, Tom, uh, sorry, Finlay just pushing ahead as, as this progresses, but coming through strongly in four as well. Aaron Russell, and also in two, uh, we have Elliot Stephen, but we'll see who gets this touch. It looks as if it will be five. It's actually lane six, Finlay Hiddleston, 31-4-2. So, the second really good swim from Finlay this morning. Had a really good IM earlier, 31-4, taking heat number two. A quarter of a second faster than the first heat. So we see there the lineup for heat number three it looks like everyone's there so the lineup lucas rattry dexter Suter, lachlan bremner connor aspinall tyler spaulding alex taylor adam merrick jake ferguson daniel hay and hamish maxwell so you can see there across the line they are all present and correct we're talking 30.8 up to 31.4 the entry times for heat number three as you said, Stuart, all important, these starts, and a very nice 13 metres or so from Alex Taylor there in lane five off the blocks. Of course, they can't go beyond that 15, but they'd like to get pretty close to it if they can. And Alex Taylor really blasting it out now in lane five after that excellent start. Tyler Spaulding, who's had a pretty successful week of it for Carnegie, is maybe the closest behind him. But this is Alex Taylor, very strong there, 30, 39. So that is half a second inside his entry time. Tyler Spaulding taking second, and Alex's East Lothian teammate, Connor Aspinall, taking third. Yeah, Alex just flirting with that 50 meter line there, but coming up just before, yeah, that's just perfect, perfect start of the 50 back stroke. And that paid off as well, and he kept ahead throughout that throughout that race. So we've gone to heat four, lane zero, Miller Cunningham from Glenrothes, one Alex Tish, Tinch Sterling, two Jane Armitage, Highland swim team, three Kyle Mossman for Glasgow, four Finlay Gerrit Slowick, five Ruben Pearson, Bell Sell, six Fraser Van der Mullen, Sterling Swim, seven Freddie Walker, Cheltenham, eight Daniel Boyne, West Lothian, nine Reese Edwards, Front and Fries. And it's all 30 second entries right across the pool here, and it's really tight just now. It's too early to call, but over in lane eight, possibly just with a fraction of a lead is Daniel Boyne. And next to him, also going well, Freddie Walker, also Fraser van der Mullen, and in the near side, Jed Armitage. Jed Armitage is now powered through in the second half of this race, and he'll take it, 29.83, so dipping under that 30 second mark, great swim from Jed. 
and Fraser van der Moelen 30-28 and Finlay Geddes 30-42 that's our 1-2-3 yeah, another good swim from Jed Elmitsch there. He's had a good meet. Island swimmer. So heat number five, there's your lineup. Aiden Bruce, Max Turnbull, Henry Shuley of Barnes, Kai Fern, Andrew Smith and Colin Swinney, Rory Culvert, Magnus Bullo, Declan Kay and Jake Brecon. Again, all there. Entry times here 29.6 up to 30.2. So we expect to see some more sub 30s going in here. Let's have a look as we come out of the turn. They're going maybe 11, 12 meters underwater in that one. Look down at the bottom of your screen there, Aiden Bruce. So we've talked about Aberdeen a few times this morning, and Aiden Bruce is really pushing this one out. Henry Shirley of Pons of Aberdeen Dolphin also going well in lane two and up at the top of your screen Jake Brekin also from Aberdeen Dolphin so it's the local swimmers who are bossing this one and it is Aidan Bruce well not quite under the 30 I thought they would have gone under 30 there but 30-01 Aidan Bruce taking the win so he is entry time 30.2 so that still was an improvement on his entry time and move on to heat six from zero through to nine, you have Kyle Muirhead, Esme Shalaby, Finlay Sang, James Kilpatrick, Calvin McDonald, David Landman, Jack Simpson, Lewis Austin, Richard Laws, and Torin Liversidge. Uh, all the swimmers are present for this one. So again, keep an eye on these starts. Um, see how, how the boys do off the blocks. And off we go. So we've got James Kilpatrick and three 15 year old. Um, and the rest are either 15, uh, sorry, 16, 17 and above. But lane two, great start there. Finley Sang, City of Glasgow swimmer, also go well in five. David Landman, uh, sorry, lane four, I should say. Calvin McDonald, University of Albion Performance. But I think Finley Sang will come through and take it or will he be challenged? At the finish, and Calvin just about does it, but Finley Sang, 28-78, so that's first of 29 we've seen. Second, Calvin McDonald, 29-15, Kyle Muirhead, good finish there as well, 29-30. Yeah, Finley will be happy with that, into 29-5, take that down to 28-7, that was impressive. So into the circle seated heats now, there you see the lineup, Lucas Brown in the centre lane. With Manu Drysdale, Connor Christophorus, Jensen Norris, Logan van der Merlen, then Lucas Brown, followed by Logan Jackson, Edward Bell, Benji Jeffries, Finley Bruce, and Adam Prusik. Again, they're all there. So let's see, Lucas Brown, you would think, would be the fanciful one here with a sub 27 entry time. So he is in lane four. Representing Stirling University, it's a uh, stumping ground as Elgin, so not too far away from here. And it is Lucas in the dark cat now, just pulling away from Logan Jackson in lane five. And this is really looking strong, really pushing it. Nice sprinter's technique here, and he's going to win it by a, nearly a body length. Strong finish from Logan van der Merlen to take second with Logan Jackson third, 27. 0-2, so that's a good solid heat swim there from Lucas, taking heat number seven. Two more heats to go. Yeah, nice swim from Lucas, uh, gold medalist in the 100 backstroke, so looking very strong in the 50 as well. On to heat number eight, and from zero through to nine, have Tom Armitage, Jacob Light, Jack Doherty Simpson, Kel Mitchell, Stefan Kravich, Ben Hartridge, Callum Peebles, Ethan Stewart, Ethan Collins, and Rowan Brown. Points for style getting into the water there from some of them. Yeah. Some of them dive really deeply, don't they? <laughs> uh, before they grab onto these into, into these blocks. Yeah, they used to swim out three, four metres. I don't think they're allowed to do that anymore, just delaying the meet. Yeah, I wonder if that's a psychological thing, psyching other swimmers out. Um, but yeah, good start in the middle lanes there, especially lane four, Stephen Kravish. He is the favourite for this, 26-1-8 on entry. Alongside him, Ben Hartridge, Morpeth swimmer, looking good. But Stefan has got some good momentum here, and I think he's just going to keep 
a hold of this lead. And Stefan Kravitz will take it. We'll see what his time is. 26.85, so he stays within 26s. Good time there. Ben Hartree's 27, 71 in second. And Jack Tockett Simpson uh, takes third place in that heat, 28.20. Yeah, interesting from Stefan there, because we saw him earlier in the 200 IM, and he certainly looked much more up for that one, pushing that one pretty hard. Now we have our final heat. There's your lineup. Callum McKenzie, Liam Gorzinski, Kenneth Chakraborty, Kieran Lennox, Dean Fern, Robbie Boyd, Adam Scott, Harry Sharp, Nathan Wilson, and Fergus Woodward. So let's see what Dean Fern does here. He is the Scottish junior record holder in this one. Represented Scotland in the Commonwealth Youth Games in Trinidad last summer. Just missed the medal in this 50 backstroke, but he's very, very strong at this event. So it'll be very interesting to see how fast he pushes this. We said earlier, Dean Fern never swims easy, and he is certainly taking it out, but not perhaps by as much as you might think. Robbie Boyd is pushing on with him, but now Dean Fern is starting to open up the gap. In lane three, it's Kieran Lennox. We saw him in the fly freestyle earlier, but it's going to be 26 47 that is just three hundredths away from his scottish junior record mm. so so close there certainly will be the fastest qualifier so watch out for that tonight dean fern there his scottish junior record 26 44 and there he was a 26 47. so close yeah we'll have another chance later but that 25 6 entry short course conversion so yeah um Look out for, for that tonight. That should be an exciting one. I'm sure we'll be going for that for that record. Oh, I think there's no doubt about that whatsoever. I think he'll fancy his chances after that in the heat swim. Yeah, he can pull out a little bit more. He just felt as if with a, a you know a slightly better start, just a fraction, he could have uh, could have nicked it. But yeah, that's that's a really good swim though. So we're now onto the girls' 50 meter butterfly, and it's zero through to nine. We have Marianne Pratik, Laura Mitchell, Eva Robertson, Emily Neal. Cara White, Lacey Padfield, Emily Dawson, Isla Crawford, Abby McMillan, and Jasmine Robertson. Quickest time, 31.98 is Cara White, but it, it's pretty tight at the moment. Possibly lane six is going to take this, Emily Dawson. And she does, that was a great swim, 31.04. And that's a good second plus underneath her entry. Great swim from Emily. Yep. Emily Dawson looking very good there. Cara White second, Lola Mitchell third. But uh, getting us off to a nice start in this 50 butterfly. In line up for heat number two, Millie Barton, Anna Dunlop, Riley McIntosh, Joanna Calder, Kira Finlayson, Kaylin Chan, Emma Burrell, Heidi Carr, Ava Gallagher, and Sydney Boyd. 31s. 31.3 to 31.8, the entry times here. Off the dive and into the stroke, perhaps just edging it is Riley McIntosh in lane two in the dark purple of Dundee. Beside her now, Anna Dunlop of the Freeze in lane one and now beginning to move through in lane four is Kira Finlayson of City of Glasgow. There's not an awful lot in this, but I do think Kira perhaps now is really into her stride and is just gonna do the business. Oh, no, she's not. Anna Dunlop got set. A nice improvement from her as well. 31.17 over half a second inside her entry time. Well, got that one wrong in commentary. No, she just launched herself towards the line after the flags, Anna. So, yeah, she, she foxed us all there and it came through in a really strong finish. So, on to heat three. And from zero through to nine, we have Amber Littlejohn, Sophie Steele, Anna Campbell, Isla Dobson, Alana Wilson. Josie Grimes, Rosie Liston, Ava Kirkham, Sophia Filoni, and Anna Tichenko. So the times on this one are 31.19 to 31.3, so there's nothing in it really between all these girls in entry. And it's looking that way so far, really tight off the blocks, possibly edging it in six, Rosie Liston, uh, but alongside her, Josie Grimes as well. And right over in lane nine, Anna Tichenko going well. She's looking, like she's having a strong swim, but coming right through in six now is uh, Rosie Liston. Rosie Liston looking good for this one, possibly two as well. Uh, Anna Campbell and one, oh, Sophie Steele. Oh. Sophie Steele just grabbed that at the finish. A great swim from Sophie. And she came from about halfway back in the field to right through to the front. 
towards the finish. So 30.58 for Sophie. Anna Campbell, 38.1. Rosie less than 100 behind, 38.2. So well done, Sophie. Yeah, another seven tenths improvement on a very recent time. So good stuff again in day five, knocking out these PBs. It's really good. So heat number four, Kira Pemble, Bella Geard, Rebecca Shand, Ailey Armstrong, Caitlin Frame, Abigail Crawford, Millie Colvin, Caitlin Reed, Elizabeth Morgan, and Iona Casapidis. 30.9 up to 31.1, the times in this one. Again, there's not gonna be an awful lot in it. So we're gonna catch these commentators out again, maybe. Lane three, Ailey Armstrong is certainly up in the mix. Is she gonna take it? There's others pretty close to it. Lane four is one of them, Caitlin Frame, who gets the touch. It is Ailey Armstrong, holds on to take it, 30.8 for her. Entered 31 dead, so that's a couple of tenths inside that. Caitlin Frame just behind her, and Abigail Crawford in third. Yeah, they are keeping her as a toes. We're having to almost look, look around the screen to the pool here just to try and call these, these finishes. But uh, we now move on to Heat number five, zero through to nine, Rosie Foster, Madison Stewart, Kira Gregg, Alice Hall, Kirsty Gilmore, Gemma Brown, Amelia Leslie, Imogen Edwards, Anna Lawson, and Gina Wren. So again, all in the 30 second mark here. We'll see if anyone can close that 30 second mark. And it's pretty tight at the moment, possibly the best start in lane six. That's uh, Amelia Leslie. Amelia Leslie just with a nose in front, also over in lane nine, Gina Wren going going nicely here and in zero Rosie Foster and coming through well now in lane five is Gemma Brown so Gemma Brown and Emilia Leslie and I think Gemma's going to take it oh Rosie Foster <laughs> nicked it in the finish she came right through in lane zero just to just to surprise us all good swimming by Rosie 30.82 Gemma Brown 39.3 31.12 for Amelia and third yeah, these, these do ebb and flow even over a 50 metres, don't they, Duncan? Just they absolutely uh, difficult do. to call. <laughs> Expect the unexpected, mm. I think, in these 55s. Heat number six, Ellen Denny, Alison Wood, Lauren Anderson, Jessica Beaton, Safina Machen, Natalie Moody, Abby McInerney, Bronwyn Payne, Alyssa Goodbrand, and Katie Lowe. 30.1 up to 30.60 entry times here. Safina Machen in lane four has the fastest entry time, but well, oh, again, we've got a line of swimmers here. Lane one is Alison Wood. Lane three, Jessica Beaton in the mix. So is lane six, Abby McInerney. Abby has had a terrific meet, and I think this is going to be Abby's race. She has really taken things forward this week. And our first sub 30, and not just sneaking under the 30, she smashed it there, 29.37 from a 30.16 entry time. So brilliant stuff, Abby, taking that win in some style. Safrina Meachin second and a third was Alison Wood. Yeah, 15 year old Abby. So um, she'll be the top 15 year old going into the finals later. She's still got a couple to come, I think. Well, certainly one. Well, uh, yeah, I've, I've not spotted that. Evie Mackey still to come, yep. So Georgia Hawkins, Jordina Hawkins, sorry, Zoe Crawford, Eve Wood, Kirsty Breakin, Ariana Stokes, Alice Mackey, Madison Kuhl, uh, Gabby Freeman, Coco Croxford, Caitlin Urquhart. So this looks like lane four at the moment. Ariana Stokes, Morpin swimmer. Uh, a very strong freestyler, but looks like a fly is, is looking nice as well. Also coming through in two is Eve Wood. And Ariana just holds on to that at 28.75. Great time there, dipping under the 29. Eve Wood 29.1 and in third place Coco Crocs for 29.26. So lovely swim there for Ariana. Yeah, enter 28.1, so about half a second off that. She did that at the Northumberland Durham County Championships, and I'm sure she'll be lucky to be there or maybe under the 28 tonight. Let's see if she can do that. On to heat number eight. Yeah, all lined up there. Maria Howe, Alice Cumming, Ola McInnes, Katie Rose, Saren Pallantyre, Leila Wedderspoon, Natalie Marshall, Ashley Drake, Alexandra Miller, and Perry Scobby. So quite a number of these swimmers have starred this week. None probably more than Saren Pallantyre in lane four. Beside her, though, Katie Rose is very strong on this event. 
And these two, I think, are going to be nip and tuck coming down the pool here. Saren in the 16 age group, Katie in the 17, 18s. I think Saren is just going to edge it, but pretty close, and she takes it. And that is our 28.96 for Saren. So, like her more per teammate, just a few tenths away from her entry time. In her case, she was silver medalist in the British Summer Championships where she did a 28.07, but taking a 28.96 for the win in that heat. On to our final heat now. We have Louise Connell, Susie McNair, Evie Mackey, Heidi Wren, Ailey Robertson, Stella McCarty, Melissa Mainwaring, Kiana Kurtzer, Charlotte Thompson, Elsa Club. And this should be this should be a great race. 27.94, quickest entry, Ailey Robertson. But alongside her, uh, fly specialist Stella McCarty. So this is going to be a good one. I feel great start by Ailey and also by Stella. But in the lead at the moment is Ailey Robertson looking very strong at the halfway point. Ailey Robertson stretching out. And she will be challenged here by Stella outside her. But a cracking swim so far by Ailey Robertson. And Ailey Robertson will take this. She won't be caught at this point. And she'll just get over the line here. We'll see what time she posts. 28.55, quickest we've seen. Stella McCarty, 29.06. Seems to be near 29.64. So nice to see Ailey um, up there. Taking that one, she'll be top seed into the final. So, from fast and frantic, fifth is there, the backstroke for the male and open, and the butterfly for the female. So, we can breathe a little bit now. Yes. 800 freestyle. <laughs> we can. We can, uh, we can enjoy, you know, watching the, watching a long distance freestyle event. Uh, always quite fascinating to watch these, how the, how the tactics go. With the, these longer events, especially with the younger guys, well, relatively younger, 15-year-old uh, category. So most of the first heat are 15-year-olds. I've got a couple of 16-year-olds um, in there as well. But, uh, you're much better at predicting these times than me, Duncan. You know, <laughs> <laughs> the basic. Send so me out, why don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Well, Robert yesterday was absolutely on top of the times. He was saying, oh, I, I predict it's this and that. About halfway through, he realised it was actually predicting times for a 1,500 and not an 800. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> that, was, that was good fun. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see the, the swimmers lined up there. You'll see them on your screen. So in lane zero, we'll have Fergus Reid. Fergus is from Geary. One, Daniel Henry, City of Glasgow. Two, Aaron Russell from Bells Hill. Three, Freddie Walker from Cheltenham. Um, four, Tom Jeffords from Ren 96. Five, Kyle Connolly, City of Glasgow. Six, Keir Stormont from Heart of Midlothian. Seven, Struan Payton, University of Albany Performance. Eight, Alexander McNiven, Wander Bass. Nine, Kyle Harper. From South Ayrshire, we'll get these uh, results to you shortly for the for the finals um, that we just had. It's a reminder, of course, that they are all on Swim Scotland and on Meet Mobile. So, what you can do is watch this, listen to us, have a tablet or a mobile phone beside you with all of the results coming through mm. as we speak. That's the way to do it. I'm sure that's what a lot of you are doing. Yeah, you can even put the volume up and go and get a cup of tea and do it. Do all things at once. Um, but yeah, we look forward to seeing how this one goes. So the times for this range from 9.16.60 through to 9.41. Um, it's funny, though, because sometimes... You know, a lot of these entries are short course conversions. A lot of these boys will prefer the turns and um, they'll have better times than they would in long course and vice versa. Some swimmers actually prefer the, the long course uh, freestyle over the short course. So quite often the entry times don't quite match up to how it pans out on the 800 freestyle. But it's a good start there, Man of Drysdale, in lane four. So... I'm just looking down. Mano's actually come in as a reserve, so I announced uh, Tom Jeffords in four. It's actually Mano Drysdale. And Mano is a swimmer from Warrender Baths. So, it's 
slight correction there, but yeah, he has had a good start. So Mano's entry is 9.01.30, so considerably faster than the rest of the field. So you'd expect him um, to be quite prominent in this heat. And Mano is a 17-year-old. So across the pool, Fergus Reid, Daniel Henry, Aaron Russell, 15. Freddie Walker, 16. Mano, 17. Kyle Connolly, 15. Keir Storm with 16. And then Wayne, 7, 8, 9. Struan, Alexander and Kyle, all 15. So this is a heat declared winner uh, event. So all the swimmers in these events are going for medals. That gives it that little extra edge. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Because even in the British Championships the Olympic Trials last week, it was swum as a heat declared winner event. Of course, when they get to Paris, they're going to have to swim it twice. They have a day in between to recover. So, uh, but it's still quite a big ask to swim an eight or a fifteen twice in fairly quick succession. They don't mm. ask these swimmers to do that. I'm sure they'll be grateful that that's the case. Mano is leading the way but not by too much from Carl Connolly 214 61 against 215 79 so a good interesting tight contest always i think easier for the swimmers probably when they have got company uh, relatively close to them so i think the probably that group behind will be feeling that uh, so it's the third place in lane 1 uh, just leading that whole group there behind our top two that is Daniel Henry so, but Manu Drysdale leading the way at 34-6 there so second fast and Kyle on that split and you can see there all the others in 36s, 37s so this is looking good for Manu just to bring this one up so taking advantage of his opportunity here in fact he does have the fastest entry time in this because a reserve in the 17, 18 age group is swimming here against 15 and 16 year olds. So no surprise, I guess, that he is leading the way, notwithstanding the fact that he's come in as reserve. 324.09 at the 300, another 34.8 there. Yeah, he's about 19 seconds quicker on entry over Kyle Connolly. Um, Kyle with a nice swim so far. He's the, he's the fastest of the rest. Uh, 920.5 entry, but again, in fact, that's a rounded figure tells me it's possibly a, a short course conversion. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how this one, this one progresses. Quite a, a good swim in the moment in, in, in lane one. Daniel Henry, he's, he's sitting in third place, so the 15 year old from City of Glasgow. Uh, he's got company alongside him, Fergus Reid from Geary. But yeah, as you say, Duncan, it's probably bit better having some company you don't want to have someone to be too close if you if you're trying to obviously finish ahead of them but at the same time it probably pushes these swimmers on it can be a fairly lonely event can't it the 800 and 800s and 1500s um, just focusing on your own training plan you know and trying to execute that throughout the race yeah they'll all have their strategy of course Mano well, I don't know when he will have been told that he had a swim. He might have had some decent preparation time or he might have been just thrown in at the last minute at, uh, in a stage to take it as it comes and make the most of it. He's pacing around the 110 mark. So at the moment, he's not on his entry time at 9.01. He's probably around the 9.15 mark. So again, now he has stretched well away from the swimmer in second place, Carl Conley. He's entered on 9.20, and again, probably not really at that time at the moment. So it is hard for these swimmers to swim the distance event on day five of the championships. It's mm -hmm. easier probably for the sprinters to pick up the uh, good times on day five, and they will be tired, these guys, from having swum a lot over the last five days. So that's see how well they can do because you're young you bounce back quickly i seem to remember from many many years <laughs> ago yeah yeah they do recover and i think even between the age of you know you've got your 14 15 you know and then when they s go up to 17 18 they notice the recovery time takes longer and that that never gets any better throughout your life um, <laughs> tell me <laughs> <Yes>. about it <laughs> 
So uh, yeah, even at that age, they can they can just as you say, Duncan just bounce back, especially when they're young. Um, so I suppose so if they can get into the groove in these these distance events at a young age, it gets them into that way um, frame of mind, and then that you know gets the muscles used to it. Is what to expect. So we're looking around the 110 mark still for Mano. As he comes now to 550, so 35.6 there. Seems to be slightly faster going back to the scoreboard than going away from it. 36.3 for Kyle. So still Mano's lead is building, 6.7 tenths per length. Yeah, about so an eight second lead there. There's another five seconds between second and third, so. Freddie Walker has increased his pace, so he's made up a second on Kyle Connolly of the previous 50. So we'll see if he's going to do anything about that position. But he is, yeah, he's drawing up a touch again on this 50. So Freddie Walker up from Cheltenham uh, this week, his entry 9.24. So it's only about four seconds behind Kyle on entry. You'd fancy that old be a bit closer let's see what the splits are there again Kyle 35 8 Freddy 35 3 so gained another half a second there so within the last 100 meters he's gained a second and a half um, just put just drawing up there so we'll see if he's got more energy and he's going to keep this going yeah so we'll be very aware of course just three lengths to go now uh, 34 9 so that's a little bit faster on that one who will be looking to build it up in the remainder of this race, so 7.30 with 150 to go. I think we are looking probably at something around the 9.15 mark for Mano. Yeah, nice swim. He's, he's look, looks very relaxed. I'm sure he doesn't feel that way. Um, but it's a nice relaxed stroke he's got. Does he come up to the bell? Let's so we'll see what time is in the wall here. But a 905, 906, 905, 83, so 35, 33 that last. So he's still pacing around about the 110s, just above. Um, as he probably kicks up a gear, he'll try to at the belt. And Kyle Connolly, 35, 7 there over the previous 50. And again, 34, 06 for Freddie. So Freddie Walk is drawing up. I don't know if he'll have enough pool left to catch Kyle Connolly, but he certainly is, has been fast over the last 150, 200 metres. And he is drawing up now, as you see behind. So you fancy Freddie Walker will catch Kyle Connolly in the final stretch. But Mano drives down to the final turn, 8.41.14. And it's now very tight for second place. And Kyle Connolly, Freddie Walker turn exactly the same time on the wall. So focusing in on Mano there as we get that shot. I see he will want to pick up his pace. I think he'll probably be a little bit inside that 9.15. And this race for second is going all the way. Freddie Walker, though, looks like he's just got the pace at the end of it. We'll see them come into shot in a minute as we see Mano coming in, 9.14.34. Now, who is going to get second? So this is going to be on the touch after nine and a half minutes of swimming. And it is going to be lane three, Freddie Walker, yeah. 9.23.78 against Kyle's 9.24.14. Here come the swimmers for fourth, and that's pretty close as well. And it's going to be lane one coming in for fourth. Daniel Hendry just ahead of Keir Stormont in lane six, 9.36 and 9.38 for them. Followed by Kyle Harper, Fergus Reed, Stuart Payton, all in the low 940s. And Alexander McNiven. And uh, we see Aaron Russell who will complete the heat. Nice improvement. One second improvement for Kyle Harper, but this all counts. Uh, when you've put in such a shift, it's nice to get a, at least a, a bit of an improvement there over that distance. So Mano drives the old Freddie Walker, Kyle Connolly, one, two, three. Kyle just, it was nice to see him try to respond at the end there. He thought he was he was dead and buried that, you know, into third place, but he did try and get back into second, but held off there by Freddie Walker. So on to heat number two. So lane zero, Conan Swinney from Gateshead and Wickham. One, Ennis Gow from Geary. Two, Connor Aspinall. And three, Panos Angelakis, both East Lothian swimmers. Four, Jamie Gilchrist, South Lanarkshire. Five, Oscar Chernside from Geary. Six, Aidan Bruce from Aberdeen. Seven, Gregor Ross, City of Glasgow. Eight, Aaron Drake, 
and Wander Bass, nine, Lewis Gow from Thiverton. So quickest here, it's just a fraction over nine minutes, Jamie Gilchrist, 9.80. You fancy that as a short course conversion time being a sort of rounded time, but uh, Oscar Churnside is 100th uh, slower on entry, 9.81. And you fancy that might be a short course, uh, sorry, a long course time. So it should be fascinating to see how this one develops. Quickest start is Oscar Churnside, 16 year old, in lane five. Yeah, the 15 year olds will get sorted out in this one. We've got two 15 year olds, Conan Swinney and Aaron Drake. Oh, and also Connor Aspinall in lane two. So we'll keep an eye on them. Looks like Connor Aspinall, the leader of that group. Let's see, go through the 100. Leading the way, Oscar Churnside, 102.11. So that is faster than we saw from Manor Drysdale in the first heat. Yeah, Con but Connor took the, took the gold in the 1500 free and Aaron Drake the silver in that event. So that's the two 15 year olds competing against each other here. Yeah, it's interesting because in the 1500 they were in different heats, so there was a virtual race going on there. Mm whereas now they're in the same heat, and I'm sure they will be conscious of each other because they are in different parts of the pool, but not that far away. Yeah, you wonder lane if they've... Eight and lane two. How aware they are of each other, but I suppose in freestyle, depending on which way you're breathing, you can have a glance across the pool, uh, especially as it progresses and, and swimmers start to spread out. You can actually see right to the far side if, you, if your head's turning that way. Um, so Oscar Churnside, just a fraction, well not a fraction actually, just a, 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 a quite a decent lead here now, um, 2998, over Panos in second place at the moment, so a couple of seconds behind there, off the wall. Yes, we have a few 16 year olds to come in the next heat, so Oscar's going to want to really put in a good shift here to uh, give them something to worry about. And you can see the line up of Bruce Gilchrist, Angelakis, then Connor Aspinall, just ahead of Aaron Drake. So still reasonably close between those two. But coming down towards 300 now, and Oscar Chad's side maintaining this lead. Nice four way contest behind him now. Lane two, Connor Aspinall, his teammate Panos Angelakis, the older swimmer, 17 year old from East Lothian, Jamie Gilchrist there as well, and in lane six, Aidan Bruce, who turns second at 318.54. There's the churn side split at 300. So he's pacing around about the 68 and a half for his third hundred. That would take him in around the nine minutes. His entry time, 90081. So he's there or thereabouts at the moment. I'm sure he would love to have a time that starts with an eight. I wonder if he can do that. We've seen, he's seeing some uh, movement here from Aidan Bruce. You can see they're splitting pretty much the same as Oscar Churnside there. So he's keeping himself in touch mm. in lane six. Definitely worth keeping an eye on that. That's interesting because they're both 16. And we've got two 16 year olds in the final heat. so. Oscar and Aidan, you think if they come as the top 16 year old in this heat, would guarantee themselves a bronze medal. So they'll be very, very aware of that. Um, so uh, that's uh, quite a fascinating race to watch here. Oscar still ahead of Aidan, but Aidan actually gained a little bit on that previous 50, about half a second on Oscar. So Oscar's not quite as far in front as he was. Yeah, they both got a good record in this event. Oscar Chenside was the National Age Group champion last year. Aidan Bruce could put in a good performance in North District, finishing fifth there. So these two certainly pushing it out. And that's 15-year-old battle. Certainly the advantage very much now with Conor Aspinall to add to his 1,500 gold because he's got probably, what, five or six metres on Aaron Trait now. Mm. See there, Aaron Drake's time just coming up briefly onto the screen for you there. 
Yeah, Connor sitting at 5.06, Aaron at 5.11. So, yeah, he's opening up a wee bit of space. Um, and again, the top, they're the last two 15 year olds who are swimming. So, um, they should be the one two if uh, they end up in these current positions or you know if it changes around. But Oscar Chernside now 5.37.89 over 5.38.53, less than a second between him and Aidan. And yeah, a look good at turn. that 34.1 against 35.5. And look at that now, Aidan right alongside Oscar. So both from this neck of the woods, here of course based in in Rory, just north of Aberdeen and against the Aberdonian. So they'll have swum against each other plenty of times, same age group. They'll know each other's strengths and weaknesses. Aidan will fancy his chances having caught up, what, four or five meters at one point. So let's see whether he can continue to move away he's got the lead of a couple of tents now over Oscar Chan side Oscar will be aware of that of course with the swimmers right together and what can he do to respond he will not want to lose the feet of Aiden Bruce that's when it gets very difficult to overhaul once you get into the waves and turbulence caused by the feet of the swimmer next to you at 6.47.05 and 6.48.38, so the lead is over a second now. So this is looking pretty good for Aidan at this stage. 200 to go. Yeah, he has momentum. Um, he's certainly made a move. It'd be fascinating to see if Oscar responds. I think he's trying to do something now. You just see him drawing up again. He's gone from about a body length to half a body length over this previous 50 metres, and I think Oscar is trying to respond in this yeah. phase of his race, and he he's drawing up. Is. So this will be fascinating. This is going to be a right battle to the finish, you feel. Yeah, turn real at the same time, yeah. Head up breath from Aiden there as before he went into that turn. And that would have cost him just a little bit of time, but obviously needed the oxygen there. And see, we'll be aware that Oscar has decided, right, it's time to make a move. It's time to get that lead back that he had early on. It is looking very good now for Conor Aspinall to take the 15 year old crown because he's comfortably in third place in this race just behind the two 16 year olds so well race on now there's a medal at stake in this one just five hundredths between them as we go into the final hundred who has got the sprint at the back end of this this is fascinating who's your money on Stuart well, I don't know. <laughs> I think <laughs> I think Oscar Chernside just seems to have a bit more. Uh, he's just up to stroke rate, and he seems to be digging a bit deeper. But it's whether he can continue that down the last 50. But Aidan Bruce had a, a better turn at the 100 mark, and I think it'll be interesting to see who's a better turn here. I think you feel as if I'll Oscar's really digging deep now. Aidan looks a slightly more relaxed stroke. So is he keeping it back? Right. Sure. So there was seven tenths in it then at that last turn. So has Aiden got anything left in the tank? You can see going very nicely, Conor Aspinall, he certainly can take the 16s, but this isn't done yet. Oscar Chernside does edge it, but it is still Aiden Bruce right on his shoulder. Oof. And as they come in here, there's absolutely nothing to choose between them. On the touch, oh, Chernside gets wow. it. Whoa, four hundreds. <laughs> yeah, wow. What a fine pair of swims that was. And they both got under the nine minutes as well. They'll both be very happy about that. And I think they could thank each other for that because they really drove each other on. Look at that. Because they were pacing around about the 35s, taking it down to under 31 on that last 50. Great swim from Conor Aspinall. That guarantees him the gold medal in the 15 year old age group adding to his gold medal collection there 90654 was inside his mm. inch time by over a second and a half but i think oscar and aiden will be very happy to go under the nine minutes aiden will be perhaps <laughs> just ruining the fact that he couldn't quite get past oscar there but cracking swim the two of them well, that was a great swim uh, it was just too close to call and uh, right to the finish what a 400 after swimming 800 free. Um, you don't see that too often. 400 of a difference. Yeah. Um, but yeah, great crack and swim for Connor as well. So he takes the 15 year old title. And he'll be delighted with that too. Two seconds under his entry. 
Yeah, the point was being made. I was commentating with Gary van der Merlen from Astounding Swimming a couple of nights ago, and he made the point, if you get a stopwatch and you switch it on and as quickly as you can switch it off again, you will not get to four hundredths of a second. You'll nope. be about point 0.1. Uh, so that just shows how little a gap of time that was, four hundredths of a second. Absolutely. It's just, yeah, almost too small to measure that. And... Um, what a race, what a race that was. We'll see what this one throws up. And it'll be fascinating because we've got Kenzie McLean and Toby Bullock, who are the 16 year olds remaining, who are trying to beat these that, these times, 8.59, 75 and 79 from the previous heat. So we have Ewan Jones in one, then zero, sorry, from uh, West Lothian, Kenzie McLean in one from Perth City, James Body in two from Geary, William Shepherd in three, Perth City, Ben McLaughlin, and four, Geary, and five with Scott Fleming, South Lanarkshire. Six, Finlay Davis, Midlothian. Seven, Cedar Gullen, Wanda Bass. Eight, Jack Simpson, South Lanarkshire. Nine, Toby Bullock from Midlothian. Uh, this should be this should be a great race, I feel. There's a, lots of names up here that have collected medals over the week. Yeah, we've not seen much of Ben McLaughlin in this one. It'll be interesting to see how he does. He's very much focusing on open water at the moment so this uh, 800 is good preparation for when the weather gets a bit warmer and he uh, is able to venture outside yeah he's, he has the top seed in this one Ben 8.29.20 and the closest to him is Scott Fleming he's had a he's had a really strong week Scott he's uh, picked up I think four gold medals um, and a silver so he's very strong on the distance free, picked up the 1500 free gold. So, fancy Scott will be there or thereabouts in this event. Yeah, certainly at the moment it looks like it's there rather it's than there. thereabouts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's certainly taken this off very strongly and he's already got quite a healthy lead. But we saw Aiden Bruce come back from a reasonable sized deficit in the last heat. So, let's not count this as done and dusted just yet. Just going to be over the two minutes at the 200 mark. 2.02.26, or just under a 32 is split there. And you see he is pacing faster than anybody else. William Shepard, second fastest in a 32.4. So he goes there in the red cap in lane three. Yeah, Scott looking good. 8.33.82 is entry. That is a long course time um, as well. So he's capable of swimming that time and he'll have that in mind as well but he's uh, he's really on form at the moment Scott he's uh, really having a good a good season yeah the time he's entered on was the time he did here last year when he picked up the silver medal and so he'll be mm. I think wanting number one to go faster than that this year and number two to promote from silver to gold and certainly he'd fancy his chances of doing that keep your eye on Finlay Davis because he was very very strong in that 400 IM yesterday absolutely dominated that one and so he will be strong in the second half here He's currently sitting in third place there in the green cap in lane six so yeah. definitely one to, to to keep an eye on but well all this following group have got quite a job to do if they are to get close to scott fleming one thing that finley davis has got is a turn of pace um seen that a few times and uh yeah, that would that be an interesting one. He's, he looks as if he's got an extremely relaxed stroke at the moment um, compared to the rest of the field. Finlay, probably the lowest stroke count. But yeah, going well in three still. William Shepard. So he's looking he's looking good at the moment. Perth City swimmer. But Scott Fleming, yeah, way out in front now. Look at these splits there. Again, he's gained another second over that last 50. Well, about a second and a half over the previous 100. So... He's looking very strong, Scott. You can't see Scott giving up this kind of lead. He's, you know, he's in such good form. If you fancy, you know, he'll he'll stay out in front. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's hard to see him being caught or even close at this point. Put four eleven thirteen. Pace just dropped a little bit in that fourth hundred. So we were going sixty fours now into sixty five. Uh, we're talking about something. Maybe 8.30 or thereabouts. His entry time is 
8.33, so I don't think he's going to be inside that if he can hold this pace. Still William Shepard ahead of Finley Davis behind him and then Ben McLaughlin. So these three, I think, will have an interesting contest for silver and bronze, all three of them in that 17-18 age group. So one of them is likely to miss out on the medal because I think we could almost put the gold medal around Scott's neck right now. Coming up to 500 meters, see that, and he's had having an absolutely beautiful race here, 516.23. So again, round about that 65, just under that time, so 64.9, and his lead still very substantial. It's getting tight now for second. William Shepard is time is gradually getting whittled down by Finley Bruce. We'll, I don't know whether we'll see their splits come up because they're so far behind Scott now that uh, we may not see their relative splits. They will come up on the venue scoreboard, so we'll have a look at that. So you can see there are 32.9 for Scott on that last 50. Let's see, it's William is a 33.3 and Finley a 33.5, so William is still pacing perhaps just slightly faster than Scott. They've just now slipped out of shot. They're so far behind Scott Fleming now as we come down towards 600 meters. Scott Fleming, if he does uh, another 65, this would be a 621. And just outside that, 622, 26. Yeah, and uh, just keeping an eye on the 16 year old. So Kenzie McLean is a couple of seconds ahead of Toby Bullock, so there's not much in it in that 16-year-old race. So keep an eye on that when The time they've got to beat is the 8.59, 75. Um, for, that's the top 16-year-old time at the moment from the previous heat. So that's, that's gonna be fascinating as it progresses. We'll see who's got the quickest final 200. Yeah, as we see Scott Fleming coming back down towards the bell turn, you will see Kenzie. There he is on lane one there in the red cap. So you can see that he's got close company there from James Body. James, though, is swimming in the 17, 18 age group. But we have Scott Fleming now coming down to the bell. So we're looking maybe something like 728 here as he comes in. Yep, 728, 58. Sub 105, he needs to break that entry time to get a PB, Scott. So we'll have that in mind. We'll see if we can up the pace with what he's got left in reserve for the final stretch. You'd expect something probably like a 63, I would think, here. He will pick it up now. Look at this race behind him, though. William Shepard is holding off Finley Davis. He's still got about a body length advantage over Finley, and that is quite a big advantage to have with only just over a length to go. So it's looking good for William to add to his medal tally in the distance events. But coming down the pool now, we pick up on Scott Fleming there. Just going up to the 25 marker there. What's the clock as he comes in into the 820s. So as we said, his entry time is 8.33. So can he get inside that? I think he will, will. Yep. but Just not by boat. that much, oh. but he does. 8.33.11, it uh, takes seven tenths off the time he did last year. William Shepard does hold on for second. Uh, Finley oh. Davis coming back at him there, second faster on that last 50, but still half a second back on William Shepard, and they were going to be the one, two, three in the 17, 18s. Here comes Kenzie. So you yep. see that time, 8.54, that will get him goal in the 16 age group. Toby, Toby Bullock. Bullock will take silver. Yep, yep. 8.58, just inside those 8.59s that we saw in the previous heat. So Oscar Chernside will get the bronze in that one. Yeah, he just nicked that bronze, shows how important that dash to the finish was for Oscar. Getting yep. that bronze medal. Four hundreds. Remember that, four hundreds. Four hundreds, yeah. Uh, life's tough and just confirming the medalists in the 15s as well we'll see them in a moment 
back on the podium, but it was Connor Aspinall, as we said earlier, taking it from that second heat, and Conan Swinney, in fact, from the first heat, getting the silver ahead of Aaron Drake. So they will be the one, two, three that we'll see shortly. The presentation's coming up very soon. In fact, coming up pretty much now. Just we need to get these swimmers uh, a chance to uh, get themselves kitted up. Yeah, there must be a, a kind of combination of a sense of relief and uh, just tiredness stumbling up onto these uh, podiums straight out of a 800s. But uh, <laughs> I'm sure they're delighted to pick up the medals. But yeah. Yeah, I had the honour of doing uh, some presentations of relays yesterday and uh, the general consensus talking to some of the swimmers was, oh, that was tough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I think there will be some of that here. Yeah, 800 and 800 on day five. Absolutely. And uh, so yeah. it's nice to see swimmers at this stage as well, picking up the first medal. Uh, some of these swimmers by day five, you know, they've got a collection of them. But you, you do get some coming through on these final days, picking up, you know, a medal and looking delighted about it. So that's nice. Conan Swinney, for instance, that his first medal. I think you've got a, yes. a good list of uh, medalists. That, that is his first medal. Command. So congratulations yep. to the Gateshead um, Wickham swimmer. We'll see him in a moment. So if you're watching us from Gateshead, very good morning to you. I hope you're enjoying it, and I hope you're proud of your man, Conan Swinney. He did it well there. Yeah, got a good program down in Gateshead. Um, and northeast of England generally, a lot of strong swimmers in that area. Absolutely, we swim one or two. Well, obviously there's a very strong group from Morpeth. We've got a swimmer from Newcastle here. We quite often see Dermot's side coming up to Scotland. It's always great to see them. City of Sunderland got a good strong program as well. Yep. Tynemouth, I think we've got a swimmer from Tynemouth here. Just uh, getting ourselves organized here. And uh, then we'll be on our way with the presentations. Relays to come after this, so don't go anywhere. Relays always very exciting to finish off the morning. We've got a good number of relays here. We've got uh, medley relays in the 14 to 16s and the 17 overs for both male and female. So lots and lots of relays to come after this medal presentation. They're just making their way to the podium now. And there we go, we see them there. So our medalists. Bronze medalists in the 15 age group is Aaron Drake. And the swimmer getting the bronze for the 15 year olds. Well done. The bronze in the 16s gear is Oscar Chan's side. I do like that. Geary kit, I think it's very smart. Yeah, yeah it's very yeah. nice. And there's Finley Davis taking the bronze in the 1718s to add to his medals that he's got this time. Now to the silver medalist and Kate Head and Wickham swimmer, Conan Swinney. There he is. And the 16 year old age group is Toby Bullock, Midlothian. So two Midlothian swimmers on the podium here. Toby had a cracking swim yesterday in the 400 IM. And the 17-18 is William Shepard. And there are your gold medalists. The 15-year-old age group champion is Connor Aspinall. In the 16-year-olds, the gold medalist Kenzie McLean of Perth City. And 17 18 is that excellent swim dominant in the far seat scott fleming oh, manages a smile well done still completely out of puff <laughs> understandably scott but uh, managed a smile there but good to see all the boys up there so uh, photo time here the coach there from tetlow yeah, making okay. sure he's got the photo with his boy in it Yep, he'll be, be delighted with that finish by Oscar there, uh, taking the bronze. Good to see some smiling faces. Um, see some of these boys back, I'm 
sure in these uh, medley relays as well. So <laughs> <laughs> straight back in the pool. <laughs> Lucky them, eh? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure you're right there. They've got to do it for the team, having done it for themselves. So there's the lineup for the first. We start off with the females. So they've got a bit of recovery time, these boys. So uh, there's four teams in the first heat Sterling Swimming, Ren 96, Margai and Bears Den, and West Lothian. So four by 100 medley relays. Start off with backstroke, of course, in the relays, different from the individual medley. So we'll see how they go. Still finish off on freestyle. Breast and back before that. Yeah, it's uh, mixed medley is always always fascinating. It's really tough to commentate in mixed medley. Uh, sorry, the female medley, I should say. Yeah, really I think it's fun because you yeah. get, get all these chops and changes, but this isn't the mix. This is yeah. the females. So yep. It's Lisa McNair leading off for Sterling. It Ren is Kaylee Moulton, Molly Ashworth for Mulgay and Bezden, and West Lothian led off by Molly Weir. Great start for Molly Weir. Um, Lisa McNair, I should say. Lisa McNair is the, the fastest start there. Sterling swimmer. In lane three. So all A teams in this one. Duncan. So it's uh, th these are all up for points. It's just the A teams that score points and the B teams don't grab the points for the team. So yeah, they'll all be fine for these points uh, in these heats. Yeah, so Lisa McNair has had a good solid set of swims. We saw her earlier winning her heat and she is up by what half a metre maybe on Katie Moulton for Ren 96. And third place is Molly Weir for West Lothian. So suddenly the four teams still very much still all in contention as we come to the first changeover. It will be a sterling swimming lead though by about a body length that Lisa McNair will hand over to Ellen White for the second leg. So she goes into the breaststroke with Kimberly Willis for Wren. Joanna Calder for Mulgay and Bears Den and Amy Weatherburn for West Lothian. Yep. Nice st start there from Kimberly Willis. Lane four. She's possibly drawing up a touch at the moment. And we'll see if she manages to hold this for the full hundred, but she's certainly making up some ground just now. So Kimberly um, is a Breaststroke is the strongest event, and she she manages to gain a second there on for the Ren 96 team. Formerly South Ayrshire, she moved over to, over to Ren at the beginning of the season. And she's now drawing up, challenging for first spot, but just holding on to it at the moment. And still in swim, and it's Ellen White. Good battle going on for third and fourth. Between Mogai and West Lothian. Looks like it is West Lothian in third place just now. Yep, so at the moment it's two races, isn't it? Two very much head to head, side by side, and there are the two at the front. So Ellen for Sterling, Kimberly for Wren. And, well, Kimberly was pushing hard in the first half of that, but uh, a nice response from Ellen in the second half, and she's held on to her lead there. You see, slightly faster in the second half after Kimberly was a second faster in the first half. So interesting there. Half yeah. a second in it. Different tactics. I think Kimble was treating like a 50 and trying to hang on. Uh, but Ellen saw the sort of longer game there and got the lead. So Anna Lee for Stilling Swim and now Cara White for Ren 96. Chloe Kirk from Abagai Bears then, Natalie Moody for West Lothian. So that's our butterfly leg swimmers. And I think she's making up some ground here in lane six. Uh, Natalie Moody. Yeah, look at that, 30.5 against 33s and 34s. So Natalie is really pushing it out and trying to get West Lothian back into the hunt here to make break up this Sterling versus Wren monopoly. So gonna be three teams in with a shot as we come up to the freestyle leg. Still Sterling, they've led all the way through here and Anna Lee is holding on to that lead for them. She will hand over to Sienna Melville for the freestyle. It'll be Kaylin Chan for Wren. It'll be Maisie McCafferty for West Lothian and Emily Dawson for Margai and Bears Den. 
quarter of a second in it as we go to those three stylers, 3.50.27. West Lothian now in second place. Maisie McCafferty just jumping in. Uh, or diving, I should say, a fraction behind Sienna Melbo. But it looks like Sienna is now moving in further ahead for Stilling Swim. So Stilling now with a fairly healthy lead here. West Lothian second, Ren 96 third. Into the final wall. And still in swim, West Lothian, Ren 96. Not too much in it, Duncan. No, uh, one length to go, a second in it. Certainly, Sterling have led all the way through. Really, only West Lothian you would think could catch them, but I don't think they're going to. And looking like Sterling Swim, and with a good all round performance here from the quartet, are going to bring in this first heat. They are up by about a body length, a late push from Kaylin Chan for Ren 96. So, well, it's getting close here, all three teams, but it is oh, Sterling. I was a bit overconfident <laughs> there, I think. <laughs> Uh, 25 metres, so yeah, it'll be Sterling, no problem. At the end, they had to work hard to get it, but they did get it, 4.54.95, a very competitive first heat there. Sterling take the honours, but unfortunately we do have a disqualification, and that is West Lothian, and they're out. Sterling swim, though, 4.54.95, taking heat number one. Yeah, it's a shame it could... You know, sometimes these takeovers, they've got to be very, very careful. I'm not sure if that was the reason for the DQ, but it usually is with the relays. So um, line up for heat number two. Highland go in zero. South Aberdeenshire in one. In the Clyde in two. Dundee City Aquatics in three. City Glasgow C team in name four. Perth City in five. University of Aberdeen B team in six. Warrender B team in seven. Aberdeen in eight. And Glen Rothers in lane nine, so City of Glasgow with their strength and depth able to run three teams here. Let's see how their C team goes. They have the fastest entry time, 4.48.15, led off by Isla Dobson. The opening swimmers, Emily McDougall for Highland, Gemma Coots for South Aberdeenshire, Lucy McLaughlin for Inverclyde, Juliet Kidd for Dundee, then Isla Dobson for City of Glasgow, Amel McLeod for Perth, Madison Stewart for University of Aberdeen, Katie Cooper for Warrender, Jasmine Robertson goes for Aberdeen. Yep, good the start from City of Glasgow. Yep, the Glen Rothers swimmer is Evie Lamont. But it could be, it's lane one just nicking its now, South Aberdeenshire and Highland in lane zero, so they're having a good battle. And then City of Glasgow just behind in third. So, yeah, up the back stroke, it's the closest lanes to us. Emily McDougall, uh, Gemma Coots are locked together on this back stroke. And the light blue cap over there, City of Glasgow, uh, Isla Dobson, hanging on to them. So that's our one, two, three at the moment. Going well as well over in lane nine. Sorry, lane eight, I should say, Aberdeen. Jasmine Robertson, she's come into the picture towards the finish. And Highland Swim Team. Dive in first, it's now Eva Robertson for Highland. And City of Glasgow in second there, Kayla Smith. Um, so onto the breaststroke. This is where it might separate out a little bit along the pool. And it's a cracking breaststroke leg so far. Very fast start in lane zero by Highland. Lexi Lamont going well for Aberdeen up in lane eight. They were behind the first heat at the first changeover by just over a second and a half. I suspect their breast strokes are faster though. Let's see as they come through here what their pacing is. Three teams very close, but it's Aberdeen in lane eight, a 36 8. You see that is over a second faster than Highland and South Aberdeenshire. Also a very fast breast stroke from Perth City there. They go in lane five. That's Ella Thompson. She is a breast stroke specialist for Perth in lane five, trying to bring her team up into the mix. But at the moment it's Aberdeen in eight and Highland in zero. Eva Robertson for Highland, Lexi Lamont for Aberdeen. But coming into that mix now is Ella Thompson with a really strong leg for Perth in lane five. Still up there, South Aberdeenshire with Lauren Cantley, who's gonna get the touch of halfway, Aberdeen do. 233.03 and that now is faster than the previous heat by nearly four seconds taking it on for Aberdeen now is Beth Craig for Highland it's Abigail Thomas behind them for Perth 
it's Emily Thompson for Dundee. They're moving up. It is Imogen Jarrett, South Aberdeenshire, Isla Kay. They're your front runners. Yeah, look over in, uh, in lane eight there. Beth Craig doing very well so far. She's in the lead in the first half here. And for Aberdeen, 16 year old, and she's a strong butterfly swimmer, and she's actually been caught a little bit in lane five at Perth, but look at City of Glasgow here. Uh, C team, Kira Finlayson, she's made up some ground there by a couple of seconds, or oh, had a little issue there, unfortunately, uh, maybe a swallowed water from uh, in lane three Dundee, that's a shame, but we'll see how things progress ahead of her. Abby McInerney we've seen earlier, and she's having a cracking leg for Inverclyde in lane two and has moved the Inverclyde team into the lead now, 3.46.17, so quite a lot of chopping and changing in this one. So it's Inverclyde, City of Glasgow C and Aberdeen now, you're one, two, three. Lu Lewis Herbman anchoring for Inverclyde, Ava Ross for City of Glasgow C, Aberdeen, it's Alana Robertson, just behind them, Warrender B with Alice Perry. We've not talk, mentioned Warrender, but they are now up into fourth place as we come up to the final turn. Is it City of Glasgow? Yeah. I think it is. Ava Ross is at a very, very strong first end of her first half of her three style, three seconds up on Inverclyde. So it is City of Glasgow C out in the lead and stretching out towards the finish here. And it's close for a second. Look over in lane seven and eight. So Warren Dart and Aberdeen now in second and third. And it is Katie Wells chasing down Al Alana Robertson. But you feel Alana might hold on to this for Warren to take second. But it will be City of Glasgow who take it. Ava Ross, lovely final end there. City of Glasgow, Warren de Bass and Aberdeen are our 1 2 3. So 4.50.94 is around four seconds faster than the first heat. So that's the time for the final heat. Heat to beat, City Glasgow C team taking it from Warrender B team and Aberdeen taking third. Yeah, that was a, uh, that came and went amongst all the different teams. Unfortunately, we had a disqualification, uh, technical infraction lane three there. So there's your lineup for the final heat. East Lothian B team in zero, Hearts in one, Warrender A team in two, University of Aberdeen A team in three, City of Glasgow A team in four, South Lanarkshire in five, East Lothian A team in six, Aberdeen Dolphin in seven, Dumfries in eight, and City of Glasgow B team in lane nine. So time to beat 450 94. I think they'll pretty much all these teams will do that. So it will be a battle in this heat to decide your medalists. It's very close in paper in the second between City of Glasgow A and South Lanarkshire A. A couple of East Lothian teams here, so is their strength and depth at the moment, um, as well as another two teams from City of Glasgow. Setting off for East Lothian is Ailey Fee for Hartwood Lothian, Isabel Cohen, on the bass, Caitlin Reid, Amber Little John for University of Aberdeen Performance, Abigail Crawford for City of Glasgow. Casey Dixon, South Lanarkshire, Isla Witten, East Lothian, Khalila Smith, Aberdeen Dolphin, Amber Hinton from Dumfries, and Anna Tichenko for City of Glasgow B. So, it should be fascinating. This one, good starts in lanes two and seven. So, Wander, Aberdeen Dolphin are up there, also going well. City of Glasgow B team. So, yeah. Uh, City of Glasgow B actually turned first. That's uh, a hundredth in it, Dolphin yeah. and Glasgow. Strong backstroker for City of Glasgow B, Anna Tichenko. Um, there, along with the first place, Aberdeen Dolphin. And Aberdeen Dolphin swimmer here is uh, Kalila Smith. She's got a really strong backstroke, but it's really tight now across the pool. Yep, Caitlin Reed's had a good second half for Warren, so there's going to be four teams coming in together. But it's the City of Glasgow B team who lead the way earlier on, 109.72, so that is faster than the previous heat by about three seconds. So it's a Glasgow 1-2 with Aberdeen Dolphin in third. 
Now the Glasgow A team start to take control. It's Ellie Kennedy on the breaststroke leg for them. Ona McCarty is the second Glasgow swimmer and looks well, it's very close for third. Number of swimmers in the mix behind the two Glasgow teams where Ellie Kennedy looking to try and push it on for the A team. Aberdeen Dolphin turning in third, three tenths ahead of South Lanarkshire. For Aberdeen Dolphin is Madison Christophorus, South Lanarkshire Evie Mackey. Interesting to see her doing breaststroke here, the distance freestyle specialist. But can anyone catch City of Glasgow now? Yeah, Ellie Kennedy, uh, silver medalist in the 200 breast and almost the 50. So she's a really strong breaststroker, really using this to their advantage. And she's made up, well, she's uh, gained a lot of water here and is a good way ahead now. City of Glasgow A in lane four. So they pass over to Alice Cumming and she'll take the butterfly. Uh, Coco Croxford uh, is taken, taken out in lane five for South Lanarkshire. And she's in second place at the moment. And in third, Amy Rowe in nine for City of Glasgow B. But look at lane one coming through as well, Heart of Midlothian. So, Heart, yeah. heart Swimmer here is uh, Lila Weatherspoon. Yeah, interesting. They're running her on the butterfly with gold medalist in the freestyle mm. on day one. But, uh, yeah, so it's still very much City of Glasgow. But South Lanarkshire are coming back at them, and that is Coco Croxford. So, no surprise to see that Coco is cutting this lead quite considerably. She's such a fine butterfly swimmer. So Alice Cumming will be aware of her presence now. And suddenly the lead is down to a meter or so. As we go to the freestylers, it'll be Anna Campbell for City of Glasgow up against South Lanarkshire's Lucy Hunter. Now Lucy has done really well in the distance freestyles, but what can she do in this hundred leg? Third, looks like Warrender there on the left of your screen. Phoebe Abuckle, another distance specialist, doing the anchor for them. They are, look like they're stretching away to make the bronze their own. So it does look like City of Glasgow <coughs> have got the upper hand here, a second faster on that first 50 of freestyle than South Lanarkshire. A fast first 50 from Warrender, but surely they are too far back to affect the outcome at the front of this race. So it's looking like City of Glasgow will add to their impressive meet here in this medley relay, 14 to 16 year olds. It's gonna be victory for the quartet of Abigail Crawford, Ellie Kennedy, Alice Cumming and Anna Campbell ahead of South Lanarkshire in second and Warren DeBass in third, so all three of them faster than the previous heat. So that is your one, two, three. Yeah, cracking finish there. Um, and Anna Campbell just holding on to that and managing to secure the victory for City of Glasgow. South Lanarkshire not too far behind. A really fast uh, final leg by Warren Dart. They came right into the picture. That was uh, Phoebe Arbuckle looking really strong in the finish. Yeah, we are seeing some real good strength coming in from Phoebe now in, in the sprint freestyles. We've always known she's a fantastic distance freestyler, but she's been working on her sprint speed this year. And I think uh, when we said we saw evidence of that from the Warrender swimmer there to claim her team a bronze medal, but yeah. a good all round performance from the City of Glasgow Quartet to take the win. It'd be interesting to see these splits. I wouldn't be surprised if Phoebe got a personal best there <laughs> uh, over that, that leg. Yep. Can't claim it on a relay, unfortunately. I know, can't claim it, but <laughs> yeah, it's always good to know you can do it uh, yep. when it counts. So, so we've got two heats now in the 17 and overs. So yeah, we've got six teams in the first one. So we're going to have... Oh, yeah, just go back to that one, obviously, uh, unfortunately, with the technical infraction. And the final really heat there from Aberdeen Dolphin. So into this next event, we have Carnegie, Step Rock, 
best Dundee City Aquatics, Ithan and Aberdeen Dolphin, all A teams racing in this first heat out of two for the 17 and 18 category. And in a backstroke for Carnegie, we have Hannah Anderson, Step Rock, Freya Headley, Best, Bronman Payne. And for Dee City Aquatics, we have Anna Easton, Ithan, Ella Chalmers, and Aberdeen Dolphin, Isabella Abernethy. So a good start in lane four by Bronwyn Payne, the best swimmer. Looking very strong at the moment. Also going well in lane five outside her is the Dundee City Aquatics team. And that's Anna Easton. So that's a one-two to the wall. Best Dundee City Aquatics, Aberdeen Dolphin. And Step Rock not too far behind as well. So Nice strong first 50 there. Yep, Bronwyn certainly off very, very fast. Now the pacing looks fairly consistent between Bronwyn in lane four for the Borders and Anna Easton for Dundee City Aquatics. These two now a fair bit ahead of third place, which is Isabella Abernethy for Aberdeen Dolphin, and then two teams just behind them, Ella Chalmers for Ithan, and in lane three, Step Rock with Freya Headley. But the leaders, is best and Dundee City Aquatics now going in Amy Owenson and Emily McGee. Emily McGee, well, both of them specialist breaststrokers, so uh, expects a pretty tough contest. But Emily McGee is a very experienced breaststroker and she has the advantage now over Amy Owenson. Third place still pretty close. It is still Aberdeen Dolphin, Rebecca Shand on the breaststroke for them with in lane three step rocks element george another breaststroke specialist and she's making good progress in lane three trying to catch borders in fact the head of aberdeen dolphin now Ithan have sarah wood in the water and just behind them the remaining team carnegie with iona casapides but this is an emphatic lead now for Dundee City Aquatics, Emily McGee there in the DCA, not wearing the pink, but uh, DCA proudly displayed on her cap, and she has put in a really good effort on the breaststroke to open up a big lead for her team. Yeah, that was an absolute storming breaststroke by Emily. Nice to see some of the older swimmers coming back for these relays. Maybe not so nice for the rest of the pool, because she did so well, and she's created such a huge lead there. 21-year-old uh, Emily, so that's a fantastic swim. She handed over there to India, Leonie Bryden for Dundee. And we have Chiara Bailey for Step Rock. We have Lucy De Grossa for Best. Uh, Ithan, Alyssa Goodbrand, Aberdeen Dolphin, Jessica Beaton, Carnegie. We have Gemma Brown. And the gap for second is closing, but um, looks as if it's lane three. So Chiara Bailey for Step Rock is now nicked up into second place. And it's pretty tight though, isn't it, Duncan? Stroke for stroke between yeah, Step Rock and Best. Yeah, they're stroke for stroke, but they're not making any impact on this Dundee lead. So good, strong third leg from India, Leone. And that lead that she was given by Emily McGee is firmly intact. Uh, she hands over to Darcy Reed to bring the Dundee team home. Uh, let's see what the lead is. Nine seconds over the teams behind them. In lane four on the anchor is Kira Pemble for best. So she'll give it her all. She always does. But I can't see her being able to make a significant impact. I can't see her being attacked, though, to deny her second place. Step Rock have Isla Headley in, Caitlin Am Adamson for Carnegie for Ithan, it's Ailey Galt and Olivia King for Aberdeen Dolphin. But they are all scrapping for third place behind Dundee City Aquatics and Best. They're going to be 1 2 here, you would think, unless they can come at Best. Certainly pushing on is Step Rock. Nobody's going to get close to Dundee City Aquatics, though. 
They came into this on a 4.40. They're going to be inside that, 4.38.29. It will be best taking second. Second best at this in this instance. Mm. <laughs> 4 46 95. Third step rock 4 49 92 in third. So that's your one, two, three in the first heat. Interesting time there because that's 4 38 29. That's quicker than a couple of the entries in the in the second heat. So we'll see if the D team getting amongst the points. Unfortunately, you see yeah. there are two disqualifications there oh as yeah. well, so that's unfortunate. And hopefully, we will have a nice clean race in this second heat. Lots of noise around the venue to encourage these guys on. We have Warren, the B team in zero. They're going to be led off by Naomi Wilson. Highland with Maddie Barber in lane one. West Lothian with Mia McLeod in two. Warren, the A team with Rosie Forster in three. City of Glasgow with Heidi Wren in four, University of Aberdeen with Maria Howe in five, University of Stirling with Caitlin Ebbage in six, Hearts with Lucy Atherton in seven, South Lanarkshire with Iona Henderson in lane eight, and first with Zuzia Smith in lane nine. It's slightly surprising to see University of Stirling only in lane six here, so watch out for them. I think they will be the favourites for this, notwithstanding their positioning in the pool. Still in Guinea. Um, all the swimmers here are um, above the 17-18 category, so it's a 17-plus event. So University of Stirling will have got some swimmers coming back, previous swimmers from Snags. A good yes. start from them. Of course. This is their opportunity to get qualifying times for the relay events at the British Summer Championship. So that's why Sterling are here for that, because they want to swim in Sheffield in the summer. So they've got to come up here to get the times. And yep. they lead by a second there, being lead, leading off for them, Caitlin Ebbage. Behind them in lane four, City of Glasgow's Heidi Wren and University of Aberdeen's Maria Howe. They're side by side ahead of lane three and that is Warrender's Rosie Forster at his University of Stirling so the first heat was 110 this will certainly be quite a bit faster than that at the first changeover 104 42 taking it on now for University of Stirling is Jessica Schultz University of Aberdeen Marie Wood City of Glasgow Amy McLeod that's your one, two, three. Warren, a pretty close company. May Rogers on the breaststroke for them. So a diagonal across the pool of these four teams. And well, Jessica Schultz is being caught here by University of Aberdeen. So looking strong is Marie Wood here for the University of Aberdeen. And well, that diagonal is changing its angle as we come up to the halfway point. Yeah. Uh, they're still just a fraction ahead, Sterling, but University of Aberdeen, yeah, really good first half there by Marie Wood. And it's now very even. Look at this even and out. Good swimming here as well by Warrender. They're coming right back into the mix. So it is uh, May Rogers looking very really strong here, Com coming up now maybe to second place. And now it's Warrender, City of Glasgow, it's Sterling and Aberdeen just a little bit behind, maybe half a body length behind now on the breaststroke. It'll be fascinating to see what happens to the Sterling uh, next leg here for them. Because they've got uh, Maddie Robertson taking this one on, who's a really strong fly swimmer, but we've got a few strong fly swimmers here. So Warrender Bass, we've got Katie Rose outside Katie for City of Glasgow, Stella McCarty and University of Aberdeen. We've got 33-year-old Jen Davis. So it's a good come back to the pool for her. Yeah, Jen Davis coaching with the University of Aberdeen performance, but she's still doing the pool. We see her in Masters quite regularly. City of Glasgow are holding on to this lead, but Stirling University are now pulling it back, and I think Maddie Robertson is just edging them back into the lead, but not a big lead by any means. So there's going to be a contest here for the freestylers. 
I think University of Aberdeen probably out of the running here, and we're down to three. University of Stirling in six, just leading for City of Glasgow and Warrender. So three very good fly legs there from the three teams. 3.25.38, Stirling University do lead the way. Their anchor swimmer is Florence Tinsley. It's going to be Louise Connell for City of Glasgow, Ashley Drake for Warrender. They're about a body length behind University of Stirling now but they'll be looking to push on. Ashley Drake is always strong on the back end of a relay, and she is working her socks off for Warrender in lane three, but still Sterling University a 28-2 there, but Warrender a 27-8, so Ashley picked up four tenths on the first half of the freestyle. Can she mount an attack on University of Sterling in the second half? There's not a lot in this, City of Glasgow are going to have to settle for third, but University of Stirling just about hanging on here with Florence Tinsley from the Ashley Drake attack. I think it will be University of Stirling with the experience to bring it home. 4.24.34 for them. A spirited attack from Ashley Drake from Warrender. 4.25.65 for them in the end. City of Glasgow taking the bronze all comfortably faster than the first heat so they will be your one two three yeah that was a really good finish there Ashley Drake eking away that lead the whole the whole leg that she had there but just ran out of pool but yeah that was a really you said Duncan an experienced swim there by University of Stirling and you took the took the victory in the end Florence Tinsley so um, clean race that time no DQs we're glad to say so Yes, Florence Sinsley, very experienced uh, swimmer. She's right up in the top of her ranks in her age group. So she went through the age group ranks now, swimming as a senior swimmer in University of Stirling. And she had the experience, I think, to know what was going on there and knew what she had to do. And she didn't panic when Ashley really pushed it hard in the first half and got the job done in the second half. Yeah. It's great to see. That's a... Uh whole set of exciting relays there from the girls and I think we're going to have presentations before we go on to the final event which will be the equivalent boys relays coming up but, uh, see a few of the summers squashing onto the podium here as we see the relay medalists come up so they're making their way to the podium now so there's your bronze medalist the Warren DeBass team so Warren DeBass the lineup there is Caitlin Reed, Josie Grimes, Kiana Kurtzer, and Phoebe Arbuckle. And then to the girls, just about managing some smiles there. Neil Valentine, former Sasa president doing the honours on the presentation front for us. He's managing a smile. Yes. Silver <laughs> <laughs> uh, so medalists looking very elegant here. The South Lanarkshire team enjoying yeah. their meet. The lineup here: Casey Dixon, Evie Mackey, Coco Croxford, and Lucy Hunter. Yeah, the girls there do look delighted with that, and so they should be. It was a great performance. What do you call these wee ear things I've got? I'm kind of almost like sort of alien uh, headsets there <laughs> and yep. the tutus <laughs> two with the big sunglasses and two with the uh, yeah. do you call them a fascinator I don't know what you call that <laughs> so City of Glasgow gold medals the national champions Abigail Crawford Ellie Kennedy Alice Cumming and Anna Campbell also getting the shades there one of them didn't get the email mm -hmm. So congratulations, that was a very strong showing from the City of Glasgow team, continuing, of course, their fantastic championship, certainly looking very much now like they are going to take the team championships, which is fitting because their head coach, Danielle Brayson, is on her final day with City of Glasgow. She moves down to England to take up mm. position with Swim England from tomorrow, so she'll have to travel down to England overnight take up mm -hmm. her new post tomorrow. We wish her all the very best. Yep, all the best to Danielle. Certainly a character 
uh, around the pool as well as you know, uh, great coach there for City of Glasgow. So yeah, onwards and upwards for Danielle. It's, yep. it's great to hear about that uh, move that she's making. I'm sure she'll be a real success there. Yeah, well, she'll be a big miss in Scotland. Uh, we look forward to see who will be taking over the reins at City of Glasgow, taking over that hugely successful programme. So we now have the 17 and overs, just waiting for them to get themselves organised and coming up to the podium. Slightly less congested now in that corner as the uh, 14 to 16s have moved out the way and here come the 17 and overs. They are a bronze medalist for the City of Glasgow team. So bronze medalist for City of Glasgow. We have Heidi Wren, Amy McLeod, Stella McCarty and Louise Connell. So well done to the girls. Um, presented the medals there. That's Neil Valentine again. Neil Valentine, yeah. And uh, Neil, he's been involved in Scottish swimming. You would know long, uh, better than me, Duncan, oh, many years. <laughs> yep, that's true. Yeah. The silver medals Warren there. So an excellent performance from them. Rosie Forster, May Rogers, Katie Rose, and Ashley Drake. Yeah, that was a, they made that a really exciting race, especially towards the finish. Well done to the girls from Warrender. So, of course, there's not any points, is there, for the 17 and overs? So, um, just bragging rights from Warrender over Glasgow on this occasion. And the gold medal is Sterling University. They had to work for it, but they got there with a good solid quartet. Caitlin Ebbage, Jessica Schultz, Maddie Robertson, and Florence Tindley. Good to see some of these girls back in the pool here. Going for that time for the British Championships as well. And some good, really good, uh, solid swims there from Stirling University. Well done to the girls. Some more gold medals to add to the collections, I'm sure. Yeah. Jessica Schultz, perhaps the one of the quartet who was involved with Scottish age group swimming. Maddie Robertson was uh, an overseas swimmer as an age grouper, now coming to Stirling University. And Caitlin and Florence from. England up to Sterling. So over to the men now. The male and open. Yeah, we have uh, nine teams in the first heat here. And in this one, we have three heats for the 14 to 16 year olds. So zero Step Rock. And Step Rock will have Oscar Geary leading out, Orkney, Nathan Smith, Renfrew, and we'll have Finlay Gudici. Giudic Hope I pronounced that right. Mark Midlothian, Dara Oldham, University of Aberdeen Performance, Strun Payton, Inver Clyde will have Blake Herdman, Highland Swim Team, Max Armitage, Dumfries, Ali Hatab, West Lothian, Daniel Hay. So, boys, uh, 100 metre medley relay as they go in for the backstroke leg. And we have B teams from University of Aberdeen Performance and Highland Swim Team, and the rest are A teams. So as we set off here, we'll see who gets the, the early lead. A very good start over there in the far side in lane eight. So that's Daniel Hay, West Lothian swimmer. I think they've actually made yep. a change to their order. I think it's actually Daniel Boyne leading yep. off for them now. Different Daniel. Yeah, I just spotted that there. So Daniel Boyne, looking very good. Also in lane two, Kiko Miles ran through. So that's Finley Yudici. Just and give you some more practice on that name. I do, yeah. <laughs> I've got to brush up in my Italian. Uh, <laughs> assuming it's an Italian name. Anyway, Finley's going pretty well. Finley not so Italian. Yudici, yeah, that ticks the box. Going well in lane five is University of Aberdeen with Strew and Payton, their B team. Very encouraging to have a Highland B team here, showing a increasing depth in Highland swimming now. Yeah, it does, it does that. Um, so, yeah, good to see two teams from Highland They're leading the way, Aberdeen. Uh, first of the all there, oh, it's actually Inver Clyde, touched first. So, 
That's lane five, Inverclyde, then followed by Renfrew and then West Lothian. So Inverclyde swimmer Clark Mark and Gill takes over that one. And looking good at the moment. In the breaststroke, coming through strongly in lane two. Is the Renfrew swimmer again? And Cammy McMillan. And also coming through now in lane four. University of Aberdeen performance. Challenging for the lead as well. Yep. University of Aberdeen performance, Cameron Jolly, 14 year old. Stanislaw Fristov as well for West Lothian. So just three tenths between the top three teams halfway through the breaststroke. The two in the centre lanes, both in white caps, University of Aberdeen B team and Inverclyde. And they're just maybe he's pulling away slightly from West Lothian now with pushing on in lane two, Renfrew Bass. Cammy McMillan on the breaststroke for them. And then in lane six is the Highland B team with Adam Williamson. But at the front, it is now University of Aberdeen B, Cameron Jolly has had a good breaststroke leg for them. And he's got about a body length lead to hand over to his teammate, George Hodgkinson, 2.24.28. So a lead of about a second and three quarters from lane five, Enver Clyde with Lewis Bray now on the butterfly. Then a gap to lane two, Renfrew Bass with Ewan Watson and West Lothian with Daniel Hay. He's taken the fly leg, moved from the backstroke. Yeah, good swim for George Hodgkinson. Possibly the gap getting close a little bit there. And, and four, Lewis Bray. So we'll see what the splits are. Renfrew have had a storm in the first half of the, the fly there. So Renfrew are pulling up. So Renfrew swimmer, Ewan Watson, looking very good in the fly. At the moment, he's pulled up into second place. So it is now University of Aberdeen performance and then Renfrew and challenging for third place and moved up into third place over in lane eight is West Lothian. So a really strong swim by West Lothian swimmer Lewis Aitchison and he's now challenging for first as well. And it is Renfrew who have nicked into the lead going to the freestyle. So Renfrew swimmer there is Max Buchanan and for University of, of Aberdeen it is Oliver Hodzik. So that's a 1 2 just now. And still trying to claw them back over in lane 8 are the West Lothian team. So, West Lothian, it's Daniel Boyne. And we'll see what happens as well in lane 4. So, Oliver, sorry, lane 5, I should say. Um, Carrick Thompson from Inverclyde. He's not out of the picture either. So, West Lothian actually had the quickest split there in the first half. So, we'll see if they can claw it back and challenge for the lead. And it's a good second half of West Lothian. Yep, so there's four teams now as we come into the climax of this one. Pushing hard is Inverclyde with Carrick Thompson. Can they get past Renfrew Bass, Max Buchanan? Looks like it's between these two. Lewis Aitchison on the anchor for West Lothian. I think maybe we'll get second, in fact. Mm. Inverclyde, though, take it 4.33.25. So very exciting first heat of this male and open. 14 to 16 medley relay, lots of twists and turns in it. But Inverclyde in first, West Lothian in second, Renfrew Bass in third. 4.33.25, the winning time from the Inverclyde team. Inside their entry time by just over a second. A great finish there for Carrick Thompson. He really left something back for the, for the end there and stormed through to take it. So into our second heat here, we have City of Glasgow C team in zero, Cole Murphy, Aberdeen Dolphin B in one, uh, Jake Freakin, Seth Lanarkshire A in two, and it'll be Lucas Craw, Stunt Swim A in three, Fraser van der Mullen in four, the Geary A team, Oscar Churnside, five, Warren de Bass B, Luke McCall, six, City of Glasgow B, Kyle Mossman, seven, Bells Hill A team, Ruben Pearson, eight, East Lothian B team, Jonathan McLean, and nine, Aberdeen A team, Lucas Snowden. So, quickest team here on paper is Geary. So, we'll see how that goes. They're about a second quicker than one the Bass B uh, on their entry times. Yep. Well, a very good start over there in, in lane seven by Ruben Pearson, Dells Hill swimmer. Yep, good start for Aberdeen Dolphin as well. Jay Breakin leading them off in lane one, so 
I think it's going to be the Aberdeen Dolphin team, I think, at the first turn leads the way. 31-14 up by nine tenths on Bells Hill with Geary in third. And then the two Glasgow teams very well matched. Uh, B and C teams will see their A team in the next heat. It's Aberdeen Dolphin then. Lane four is Geary. They are perhaps edging into second now. So good strong start. Roscoe Church side. We were talking about the swimmers in the 800 free having to mm. do it again in the relay. So Oscar is one of them. And he's putting it in very nicely here. Strong in the second half. So that has moved Geary into the lead. 105.35. Oscar's uh, today used to just pipping people out. Did it again in his uh, relay leg there. So Geary going to the lead then Bells Hill. And in third place, um, Kai Fern takes it out for Aberdeen Dolphin. So this will be a fascinating breaststroke length. It seems to have evened out a wee bit already across the pool. Uh, six swimmers all in a line now on the breaststroke. We'll get an idea of the relative splits here as they come up to the halfway turn. But it's all very competitive now. Maybe there's six down to five with Warrender now into the lead for the first time. That's Rory Vick. So no surprise that they are moving strongly. Rory Vick with a breaststroke gold and silvers as well. So he's in lane five, but up there with him in lane three is Lachlan Small, another who's been on the podium on breaststroke, and he's having a very good second half here. So it looks like it is going to be Lachlan by maybe a metre. Over on the top of your screen there, steadily going well is Aberdeen. So that is Aidan Bruce on the breaststroke for them. But, well, it is Sterling now who've moved into the lead, 2.20.36 as we go to the fly swimmers. Yeah, that was a great uh, breaststroke by the top three teams there. We really made that count. So, Stilling Swim now and the Butterfly have Fraser Gemmo, Geary have Ennis Gout, um, and at lane five, Wander Bass, Noah Locatelli, and he looks to have made a difference already. So, Noah looks good here, but he's just been pipped at the moment by one. So, sort of, you know, he has moved into the lead, Noah. So, um, Glasgow having a storming leg here in lane six. James Gillis. James Gillis really eating into that now, and he's challenging for the top spot. Uh, so, City of Glasgow, Warrender, and Sterling swim. And also over on the far side, Aberdeen coming right through, and it's Kieran Brown for Aberdeen, and he's having a fantastic butterfly here, and I think he's moved into the lead. So it will be Aberdeen who have the lead going into the final leg here. Yep, so the freestylers have a job to do here because it's very, very tight. We've got Sam Slane for Aberdeen at the top of your screen in lane three. It's Sterling with Alex Tinch. Next to them in lane six It is City of Glasgow B with Joe Carty. So they're the top three teams. Geary are pushing on with Austin McPherson, another who's had a strong meet here in the yellow cap in lane four. So don't discount Geary. 3.55.67 then. Two swimmer teams on 27s. Geary, though, just under a 27. So can they haul this one back? It is lane three. Sterling with Alex Titch trying to hold on right there with them. In lane five, Warrender, or lane six, rather, City of Glasgow, Joe Carty and Geary in between them in the yellow. It's these three teams coming into the touch. It's going to be anyone's here. Who gets it? Sterling Ooh. hold on by 400. 426.31 against 426.35 for City of Glasgow B and Geary. I thought maybe they were going to come through and grab that, but yep. not quite able to do it. 426-42 for them in third. Just check that all of those times stand up. Oh, we have one uh, disqualification there. It was lane one for Aberdeen Dolphin, unfortunately. So it doesn't but affect the top three. Yeah. Wait for the confirmed time to come up. But that's what we're seeing on the board, and that is now confirmed. So Sterling, City Glasgow B. Mm. Geary, your top three in heat number two. One more heat to go in this 14 to 16s. And then two heats in the 17 and overs to finish us off. Yeah. Line up there for heat number three. 
Living hundreds between one and three there. That was a cracking finish. With all the splashing, you can't tell who touches first. I certainly yep. couldn't. Um, yep. So that was exciting. So the lineup for heat number three, we've got Carnegie and Sarah with Tyler Spaulding. South Ayrshire with Kyle Harper in one. East Lothian with Ishmael Shalabi in two. Aberdeen Dolphin with Adam Prusik in three. Perth with Finley Bruce in four. Warrender A with Aaron Drake in five. City of Glasgow with Nikolai Sesnet in six. University of Aberdeen with Sky Kabunche in seven. Highland with Jed Armitage in eight. And first go in lane nine, led off by Jake Ferguson. Don't have a lane eight, unfortunately. So we do. So no Highland team. So nine teams will go in the swamp. Up they go, and a good strong start in lane six. That is Nikolai Sisner. I guess we shouldn't be surprised at that. He has been so strong. He is a youngster for this relay, though, going at the bottom end of it, the 14-year-old. But he Ooh. is taking it out from lanes three and four. That's Adam Prusik for Aber Aberdeen Dolphin in three, and Finley Bruce for Perth in four. I think all of those three will be strong in the second half here. East Lothian with Ishmael Shalabi in fourth place, but it is City of Glasgow. So Nikolai doing it for the team here. He's certainly done it individually plenty of times, and he's holding on to this lead against the older swimmers. As we come down to the 100, he's got a lead of about a body length from Perth in lane four. And he hands over to Gregor Ross, who's a very strong breaststroker as well. So Gregor takes the mantle for City of Glasgow. For one day with Dylan Mitchell for Perth City. Um, we have Ewan Weir and uh, Conor Christophoris goes as well for Aberdeen Dolphin. So this is going to be this is going to be a really close contest here over the breaststroke leg. We'll see what the splits are here, but I think there's some ground being made up in lane four from Perth City. But it is. We're not getting the times on the board here, but um, it's still a healthy lead for City of Glasgow. And Gregor Ross looking very strong at the moment, but fighting back. Lane four, Yoon Weir is coming back now for Perth City. Also going well, five, Dylan Mitchell for Warren Dirt. So that's the second and third spots at the moment. But City of Glasgow still in front. And City of Glasgow, then Perth, then Warrender. That'll be the one, two, three, going into the freestyle. Yep, so 2, 10, 11, you can see up on the clock there is the leading time for City of Glasgow. So take it on now on the butterfly for them is Jude Mowbray, but coming up very strongly now in lane four is Jensen Norris for Perth City. Two other teams still in the mix. That's Warrender with Lewis Maxwell Pauls in lane five and Aberdeen Dolphin will watch out here. That's Dean Fern on the butterfly leg for them. So can he catch Perth who are still ahead of him? So now all of a sudden it's a completely different race. It's Perth being overtaken now by Aberdeen Dolphin. So Dean Fern as we would expect putting in a stormer for the Dolphin team here. But Perth are hanging in there. Jensen Norris is no mug of butterfly either. But it is going to be Aberdeen Dolphin as we go to the freestylers. They have the lead. 3.09.40 with 100 to go. Henley Shulia Barnes taking the final leg for Aberdeen Dolphin. And that the picture changed completely there on the butterfly leg with Dean Fern coming right from behind up to take first spot. So Aberdeen Dolphin been chased down by Perth City. For Perth it is Kenzie McLean. So he'll try and make up the ground here, but Aberdeen Dolphins still in the lead. Perth City a good way behind now. In third place is Warren Dirt. And Warren Dirt are kind of bastling it out here as well. Um, but look at the front now between lanes three and four. So Harry, Henry Shalav, Barnes, Kenzie McLean, Perth City, and Aberdeen Dolphin, looks like Perth City are just nudging ahead. And I think Perth will take it. And it will be Perth City followed by Aberdeen Dolphin. 1-2, great finish there by Warrender. Uh, and that gives them third spot. So fantastic last leg there from Harry Sharp to draw right up 
But uh, there is our result. Per City, Aberdeen Dolphin, Ronda Bass. Time of 4.05.06. Winning time. Great swimming. Yeah, some good stuff there from the teams. Again, it went back and forth. Completely different in the second half from the first half. But Per City, Kenzie McLean getting the job done for them on the freestyle at the end. After that terrific fly leg from Dean Fern for Aberdeen Dolphin. Mm. So confirmation there, that's your top three in that heat, and they are the top three overall. Yeah, secret weapon there uh, from Aberdeen Dolphin. Not very bag. secret, probably. Very secret, yeah. <laughs> the weapon, I should yeah, say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the weapon. Yeah. Yeah. The Dean Fern. Watch out for the Fern. So two heats in the 17 and over category. So four teams in the first one. So first is team first. Um, Rory Calvert, Ray 96, Adam Scott. Seth Aberdeen shirt, we have Andrew Smitten, West Lothian, Kel Muirhead. So that's our backstrokers who will lead us out in this relay. So quickest time in this one is the Ray 96 team. Um, all eight teams in this heat. So. Very good start there uh, by Adam Scott. Uh, and also a be even better start. No, it is Adam Scott, sorry, who did take the lead at the early stages there. Cracking start for Ren 96. South Aberdeen shirt in five. And West Lothian in six. So West Lothian are now challenging for that lead. Uh, turns at the same time. So Kelm Muirhead, strong backstroke there as well. A great turn there from Ren 96 is Adam Scott. And he just nudges in front again. So already it's like two different races at very early stages, but we've got Ren 96 against West Lothian and then first against South Aberdeenshire. So coming up to the first changeover, it is Adam Scott, very experienced backstroker, will hand over to Fraser Walker, 102. 68, so leads by six tenths. West Slothian now is Ben Sheriff on the breaststroke. First in third, they have Samuel Beatham in the water and South Aberdeenshire with Dylan McCombe. Dylan may well make up some ground for South Aberdeenshire in name five. In fact, you can see that he is doing that. So it uh, could be pretty close by the time we're done with the breaststroke here. Yeah. The Get the twists and turns that we so often see in medley relay, but still leading the way, Ren 96. But you can see there are 35 1 against that South Aberdeenshire 32 4. So clearly, the fastest in the water at the moment is Dylan McCombie, and he's moved his South Aberdeenshire team up to challenge for the lead now. He's just half a meter behind Ren 96, and I think that lead is going to switch in the latter stages of this breaststroke. Although hanging on there is Fraser Walker. He doesn't want to give this lead up. Pushing on as well, Samuel Beetham for first. They're not too far away. Neither are West Lothian with Ben Sheriff. So all to play for in the second half here as Wren hanging on to their lead. So good second half there from Fraser Walker to hold on to that. Yeah, he was just determined that he wasn't going to get overtaken there. Uh, Fraser Walker by Dylan McCombie, who had a really, really strong rest stroke. So Fraser hands over to Harry Keogh. Dylan McCon McCombie hands over to Torin Liversidge. For first, we've got Cameron Gill. And for West Lothian, Callum Sinclair. So, again, this could be an interesting one because Cameron Gill is a very strong butterfly swimmer. Will he make up any ground here? And uh, still round his six, South Aberdeen then first. But, yeah. Cameron Gill is coming into the picture here, but still in front. Harry Keogh, the Ren 96 swimmer, and will he keep his nose in front here? It's evening up behind them, I think. Cameron Gill nudging up into second spot now. He might just about move into the lead. So the first team coming from last position not long ago into first position. So Cameron Gill had a fantastic fly leg there. He hands over to Alex Black. Uh, Ren 96, get Harry Keogh, hands over to Magnus Morris. We have Adam McLaren for South Aberdeenshire and West Lothian, Ewan Jones 
And it's really tight for the finish here, Duncan. Yes, it certainly is. It looks like it's lanes three and four. First versus Wren, Alex Black and Magnus Morris. Magnus Morris, an experienced hand for the Wren team. You fancy him perhaps as these two go in just about together through the final turn. You see a 25-7 though for Wren there, about nine tenths faster than first down that first 50 of freestyle so it is Ren who'd led for a lot of this but don't count first out just yet Alex Black is not giving up the fight he is still on the shoulder of Magnus Morris can he somehow find some extra pace to bring it home I don't think he can Magnus has the experience to get the job done 4 14 71 so good solid swim from the Ren crew and he showed a lot of determination to hold on to that lead through most of that race and coming in with an eight tenths win over first in second and West Luvian in third. Yeah, things just switched up in the in the, the fly and the, the, uh, the breaststroke leg. So yeah, it was all ebb and flow a little bit, but yeah, Ren led from the first leg and then at the end managed to grab it. So we now move on to our second and final heat. So from lane zero through to nine, Stilling Swim, Geer van der Mullen, Geary's Kyle Mitchell, leading off there, University of Aberdeen Performance B team, we have Logan Jackson, City of Glasgow A, we have Jack Doherty Simpson, University of Aberdeen Performance A, Connor Massey, Stilling University, Lucas Brown, Wanda Bass, Robbie Boyd, East Lothian, we have Callum Peebles, South Lanarkshire, Ethan Stewart, Wanda Bass B team, Man of Drysdale. So, quickest, just by a fraction, uh, into this uh, University of Aberdeen performance that they will be challenged by Stilling University it's going to be a really good race we feel between these two and possibly some of the other teams as well but yeah pretty even start there in the middle lanes and also going well in the near side lanes between Stillings and Geary Greer van der Moulin, Kyle Mitchell and it's a really strong start though in lane 5 by Stilling University. So we have two Stilling teams up, up in the top here. Stilling University, Stilling Swim. So 27-8, cracking start there. Stilling University. So Lucas Brown taking this one out strongly. Stilling Swims, Greer van der Moulin. Um, he comes back for, for Snags. Greer now 19 years old. Getting involved in the relays. So yeah, in the middle lanes there. It looks like they are the, our two leaders, so we have Stilling Uni and University of Aberdeen Performance 1-2. So, yep. so Lucas Brown hands over to Josh Press on the breaststroke for Stirling University. University of Aberdeen now have Chap Mitchell on the second leg and just behind them, City of Glasgow with Royas Krinkelis and Stirling Swimming with Adam Hill by lane seven I think East Lothian with Finlay Brown but it is Sterling University I think starting to stretch out their lead now it's over two seconds you see a 29-2 for the first half is breaststroke for Josh and that is a fair bit faster than anybody else we're seeing you know while it was tight in the early stages in the backstroke it's not so tight now we've got a clear one and two third place City of Glasgow with Warrender it's Connor Mitchell, who's been a strong performer in the breaststroke, going well for Warrender, now challenging for third. <coughs> but at the halfway turn, Sterling University looked to be in control. Josh Press hands over to Riccardo Lucarelli and Tom Beely, the British silver medalist in the 200 fly, going in for University of Aberdeen. So we'll see whether he can pull this back. Yeah. Great start there from Tom Beely, and he's possibly making up a bit of ground here for University of Aberdeen performance. Still in University, still ahead, but we'll see what the gap is. So the split there, well, roughly the same actually, between Stilling and Aberdeen. So we've got um, Ricardo Lucarelli doing very well here, as is Tom Beely. In third place now, Warrender. So good swim so far by Cedar Gullen from Wallander, City of Glasgow, sitting in fourth place. Marcus Blake, so it's still in university and University of Aberdeen performance 1-2, it's going to be really tight now, going into the final stretch, the final leg, still in uni, hand over to Aaron 
Oakers, um, University Ambient Performance, Kieran Lennox, and that's our two swimmers who are now very close, neck and neck. So, yeah, it's all to play for between these two. So, University of Aberdeen would be very happy if they could somehow find a way to get past Sterling. Certainly, these two well clear of everybody else in through the final turn. Aaron Olkers looks like he's got enough in hand, though. He's half a second faster than Kieran Lennox on that first half of the freestyle, and he is pulling away now. Meanwhile, you just see a good old race going on for third place. Warrender with Ben Kelly against City of Glasgow with Finlay Sang. We'll see that in a moment, but it's going to be University of Stirling bringing this one in, in the end, very comfortably indeed. 3.49.25. Second, University of Aberdeen. Who's going to get third? It will be Warrender. So finishing the job for them, Ben Kelly. 4.0049 ahead of City of Glasgow and East Lothian. Yeah, great swim for Stirling University. A second under their entry as well, so... They're doing the business there, and a really strong finish there from Aaron Oakers to take that one. So those are your top three again. No DQs, I'm glad to say. So those three will be the medalists. We'll see them in a moment. Our last bit of theatre, I suppose you would call it, <laughs> here. Not action, but as they make their way to the podium. We'll see the 14 to 16 year olds up there first, followed by the 17 and overs. So we've seen some pretty exciting stuff this morning. It uh, lines us up nicely for our final set of finals this evening for it these does. older swimmers, because we've got the youngsters this afternoon. We do, yeah. And uh, yeah, these, these relays at the end were, were great, great way to finish the session. But yeah, see a lot of these uh, these swimmers back for the finals this evening. I think a lot more to come from some of them. I think these, especially the IM swimmers at the start, we're just easing up. So I feel that we've got definitely more to come there. And uh, across the whole events, it's been cracking. A cracking morning of swimming again. And here we see our medalists coming up to the podium. So we have our Wanda Bass swimmers taking third place. Yep, in the younger the age group, really. The Warrender team, Aaron Drake. Dylan Mitchell, Lewis Maxwell, Pauls, and Harry Sharp, who put in a storming final 100 pre. You can always tell Dylan Mitchell on the podium. He's the one with the hat. <laughs> that hat is never missing. That is trademark. <laughs> <laughs> Susan Little, who is uh, our timing guru, does all of the meat management for this one. The president of the East District as well. She lives and breathes swimming doing presentations for us yeah good to see susan up there the silver medalist aberdeen dolphin adam prusek connor christophorus dean fern and henry shuley of barnes having a really good meet aberdeen dolphin and of uh really risen up through the, the ranks of the teams, I would say, in the last couple of years. Um, yeah, they certainly have. Having a great, uh, another great snags for them. Perth City are winners in this event. And it's Finlay Bruce, Ewan Weir, Jensen Norris, and Kenzie McLean, our Scottish National Age Group champions. And all these boys look delighted to pick up these gold medals. So, still out of breath from their release, I'm sure. We'll be joined by the 17 and over category shortly. Great to get that picture. You can see all these pictures up in social media. Later on, we have a collection of all the, the Snags winners, uh, Snags medalists um, each day, and it's great to see that. So one more presentation to go, the 17 and overs. And so they're quite ready yet because they've not had quite so long to prepare themselves. So the uh, teams getting themselves organised. I can see the green tops in the corner yep. of Sterling University. Bleed green, I think, is the slogan. Is that is that the shade? That yeah. is the shade. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So well, we'll bleed green is like yeah, so you basically you know cut you through the middle. You can still see Sterling, Sterling University. 
yeah, they've got some programme going there. Uh, it's no surprise that they had such a good relay team. So it's going to just take us a little while, I think, still to get these teams organised. They are gradually getting themselves into position for our final presentations. And there you can see them up at the top of your screen there. There is the podium. You can see where it sits relative to the other teams. And there are your Warrender bronze medalists. They are Robbie Boyd, Connor Mitchell, Cedar Gullen, and Ben Kelly. Connor Mitchell, Dylan's older brother. So both of them very fine breaststrokers. Both of them did the breaststroke leg in their respective relays. With uh, Robbie on the backstroke, Cedar on the fly, and Ben on the freestyle. And the University of Aberdeen team taking the silver. Connor Massey leading them off. Chap Mitchell on the breaststroke. A strong butterfly from Tom Bealey and anchored by Kieran Lennox, usually a fly specialist, but well, with such a strong fly swimmer as Tom Bealey, he had to go onto the freestyle and he did not let the side down on there. Yep. And the University of Stirling taking the gold. Lucas Brown led them off. Josh Press on the breaststroke. That was a very strong breaststroke from Josh. Then it was Ricardo Lucarelli taking on the fly and Aaron Oakers on the freestyle. Uh, Ricardo just breaking the color trend there. I know. Uh, Another one who didn't get the email. No, no. <laughs> so confirmation of your top three there. And that just about winds things up for the morning session. Thank you very much for your company. It's been a pleasure, Stuart, once again, to be co-commentating with you. You can see their coverage starts at 20 to 2 for our afternoon session. We hope that you'll join us there. But in the meantime, we'll wish you a very good day from the Aberdeen Sports Village. Good day to you.